The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. That's why I'm here. Oh, well, I'm so you lying. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Hey, I thought you telling the truth, all everybody, boy. Everybody, everybody you else said was half the year you was telling the truth. Yeah, and that was a lie. <laughs> so you started the year with the lies. No, we ended the beginning of the year. I, all right, I won't repeat it only because you, my man. You, you know. got a star on your face, by the way. I don't, I don't know if oh, that was purposeful. I remember those nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember those nights. Coming the house glittered up. There's no worse way to get caught. She's seen it before you because you a man. You ain't stopping the mirror and do a <laughs> fucking stupid check down. <laughs> Now she all in face. Yeah, glare at your nose. Do you know that? Who, who you? No, you got something who is, right there. Who is you hugging? No look. Ta 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 licious. Remember when she see the hickey before you? <laughs> Yo. Ew. You ain't even think she only was sucking that hard. Yo. You walk right now, stupid. <laughs> stupid, your girl right there. Come here. What's that? Come What's, that? What's, that? What's that? What's that? What's that? And you like stupid? I don't know. I just yeah. What? What? But it be a mirror right there. Come with me. <laughs> Come with me. Look in the mirror. Look right here. Damn, I must have ate something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know when eyes. I press my arm here too long, get a <laughs> yeah seatbelt. I, I was seat laying wrong. Oh man, that's gonna take one time for that to happen. For you to keep a spoon in the car, a little comb. A little comb. I get all that shit out of this. You can suck. For, go ahead. You ain't you got no ice for, in the car. Suck for a week. Well, no. Nah, put right, the put the spoon the up to the uh, AC. Uh, oh, yeah. real wow. Puerto Rican. Fucking MacGyver ass shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real Puerto Rican. What? what? Figure it out. The comb. There they comb your whole skin off. Give me 45 <laughs> minutes with that comb or that, sp or that spoon. <laughs> and I'm going to spread that. I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to blend it off. <laughs> that shit going to look like yeah. camouflage. <laughs> shit, one time. Shit. What type of we at? One shit. One time, man. I, I had some makeup. Wait, you mm. didn't put no foundation. When it ain't go, sure when it ain't go all the way. I believe that. I went right. I went right to Mac and sat in the chair. Oh shit! Oh. Yes, the fuck I did. Hey, look! <laughs> I want this gone. Yeah, man. Mix a little bit of that creamy, creamy caramel with some of that. That's crazy. Get, 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 get the right shade, get that right there. She was powdering your shit. Good money. Yeah, so I'm, I ain't never go that far. Yeah, till you take I a shower. I only did once. I didn't feel the great. But then you got another problem. Now you take your shirt off. You got makeup on your shirt. It's mine. She ain't trying to hear that. No, then you in the shower, not try, trying to wash that part of your neck. I won't wash that shit for four days. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. I won't wash for four days. <laughs> <laughs> Bird bath. What you talking about? What? No. <laughs> no, not at all. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> oh, Yo, man. I see what's going on today. This thing's a fool. I see what's going on today. I won't today. wash for four days. Yo, can I pocket watch real quick? Please. Every As he store, checks these sneakers, Dior. Imani look mm. good. Imani mm -hmm. look good. Dior sneakers. No, no, no. I just, I, I, salute. Yeah. I just want y'all to know y'all start every pod like this. We do. <laughs> yeah, we're. <laughs> yeah, that's part to. of the pod, though. What is it? Why, why do we? I it don't, don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's them from you. I know y'all keep saying that, but every two times a week, I sit here and shut up and just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Set your clock to it. <laughs> but go ahead. Get no, no, no. Just to, salute my man. You look good. Thank you. I feel good. See, that's it. We out of there. Look mm -hmm. like your fucking dad in the face, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass nigga. In there looking like dad in the face. <laughs> you know what's funny? I went I went to LA and then I got a haircut, right? So you know I normally do my Mohawk, pro hawk, <laughs> faux hawk, yeah. fade combine. I was like, you know, the man, RB joint. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that. Yeah, so it was... <laughs> I had to retire my fro hawk and just keep a regular fade for now on, man. So Shame. it was time. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> like, look what you want us to see here. That'd be sad. About. Damn, not that wasn't being sad. Yeah, I thought that was good. Not the fro hawk. Oh, oh. It's the end of an era. Damn it, it's man. The end of an era. Yeah. Damn it, the fro hawk is gone. That was LA. -y. Yeah. That was LA. -y. Wow, boy. Niggas go out there and get some fucking tie dye swimming shorts <laughs> and a fro hawk oh. and some fucking Crocs. <laughs> Some vans. <laughs> That's it. Uh, it's a sad day up here in the Joe Budden potter sphere. Oh, man. Why? Wow, what happened? 
It's so hard. No, it's a sad day. <laughs> to say goodbye. My girl Mel. Damn. My girl Mel was her last pod for about three months. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I know it's going to seem like that. It's only three weeks. Oh, It'll go oh, by really quickly. Oh. I'm going to do check-ins. Mm. What's going on? Ish. You're the only one not making eye contact. You're not going to miss me? What the fuck? Damn, Ish. Damn. <laughs> she, hey, listen, yo, fam, don't come up here on this type of energy. I don't want no problem. Express some remorse. Yeah, sir. I don't want no nah, she told <laughs> Ish from the, from, from the jump. She had smoke for Ish today. She did. From oh, the oh, I missed that. Yeah, you missed it. Yeah. Are you she said she had aggression. All she's like motherfucker don't throw me. I'm a, yeah, but just for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love. That. I feel like she's been in that time for like a good two weeks. Now. Nah, but you we got, she she prepped it, letting us know she's gonna be turned up. You today. gotta shit on a nigga before you go to the movie set. That's what I think. <laughs> like that's fly to me. Like, and who not who better? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> who better than this? Right. Pew pew. Pew pew. I love this. Oh, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. I told you I get joy. You bring me joy, nigga. I'll start with Anita whoa, Baker whoa, right whoa, now. Whoa, Aki. I'll start with Anita Baker right oh, now. I'll be bringing no other man no joy. Oh, don't start with your fucking... Me. Don't start with your shit. I'm in the pause capital of the world, and it's me. You got it. Yeah, no. Nah. You bring me joy, nigga. Tell your man chill out, yo. All right, man. Start, start, yeah, yeah. We could start what? with Anita Baker. That would be cute. Huh? No. You said it. 60 degrees I outside. wasn't. Yeah, I was New York City. So what does that mean? It's a Friday. Okay, and? Oh, well, me what, what it means to me is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means to me. Okay. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two. What's good? What's good? I was at chaos back then, huh? <laughs> hey you were at chaos? I was at chaos. No. Why do you? Don't prove it's just points to be right. What? Because you know, it's your always say you look at us like we wasn't dumb. Oh, well, no. I mean, like I was, I was, no. I was a cocktail no. waitress at, at Chaos. No. Look at me. Yeah. Of course, I was at Chaos. Were you on like the bottom oh. level? Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh my God! She <laughs> said <laughs> what type of time <laughs> she was <laughs> on. She <laughs> said that. She said it from the jump. <laughs> she said it from the jump. New York City. I mean, uh, wherever you might be watching <laughs> this from, <laughs> Chaos was over there by what's the fucking? It's an Alphabet City. Yeah, I don't say that. I don't know what it is. Lower East Side. Yeah. It was East Village. East. Over okay. there, hot little spot. Mm. And it was the downstairs and the upstairs. Before you started shooting at me, I was about to say I was all over chaos. I was in the back, in the cut. I was upstairs playing the whole square. I don't know why you're trying to play me just now. That was, the, that was on the same level as did Hove Hit You Back. <laughs> it was for me. It was. <laughs> Microphone check. One, two, what is this? All right. Let me get these drops out the way. Feeling good, feeling great. So happy to be here with y'all today. Beautiful outside, beautiful weekend. Positive vibes, positive affirmations, high frequencies. It's Big Mel's last day. We doing our big one today. Hey! <laughs> All right, what episode is this? 706. Welcome to episode 706 of the Joe Button Podcast, presented to you by Prize Picks. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host here with a few very important people in my life. To my right. Oh man, I'm sad today. No, I'm no, I'm 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 in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain, man. You be annoying when you're here, but when you're gone, oh, I can't even picture it. Oh, thank you. Big Melissa Ford, man, is mm. in the building. Who Movie you? star Melissa Ford, leaving us to go do some fucking actress shit. Her and Nene and Denise Richards and. All of these people, it's no mm. more virtual. It's time now. Mm. It's no more Zoom. Mm. Can't act it's on time Zoom. now. No. Big Mel is here with us. Uh, Flip is not here with us. Um, and at this point, his past is contractual obligation. <laughs> he just ain't here. He, he hasn't been feeling well this week. I saw him on live last night. He didn't look like somebody that any of us should be around today. Mm. 
and we wish our brother well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we wish him well. Flip here with us in spirit. Salute, salute, salute. Get well mm-hmm. soon, my brother. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yes. And that conversation y'all was having too. We gonna get into it. Uh, big issues here, none other than, huh? Fresh from the Air Max outlet. <laughs> fresh from the Air Max outlet. All the colorway. Yo, let me get this wall. <laughs> let me get this wall right here. All of them and this glass encasing. <laughs> You went to the glass and casing for these, boys. That's, that's what you did. Don't do it to me. We introducing you. <laughs> you we introducing you. <laughs> Big Ish. Yes. Took the whole glass and casing. Happy to see you, my brother. How you feeling? I'm great. Yourself? Good, good. Feeling excellent. Now, my man, my main man, Big Freeze in the building. Peace. What's up? What's up? Big peace, Freeze. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. Uh, dad in the face, Imani is here. <laughs> Imani is in the building with us today. So happy you could join us and bless us with your presence. Yes. And Great. my main man, Parks. Yep. Parks is here, man. Still the best dressed in all the same shit. He kissed me. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Hey, man. Parks masters that white boy dress bag. He does. This is my uniform, and I'm going to crush you niggas with it every day. Uh, Corey is here. Corey's here. Hey. <laughs> Corey is on a Friday. Corey is here, man. I mean, I was looking for you yesterday. At Kino's, I didn't see you. Kino had a little dinner. Everybody was over there. You normally did with me. You wasn't there. Where's Corey? Um, I don't know. <laughs> when I was outside with him just now on this beautiful day, he said some stupid shit to me in Parks. Like, what was the weather out here yesterday? Yeah, well, oh. oh. And Parks was like... They are using house all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say quite like that, but <laughs> well, yo, yeah, you know, you didn't say that, but yeah. So I, who knows? Maybe on a, on a break, you walk to the kitchen to see where good brother Corey was at. But I, ain't, I support it. I'm there for it. Oh, so he, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. You don't see you look a little lighter, like he went somewhere where it was mm-hmm. cold. It looked like he went yeah. on a plane for sure. Yeah, he definitely went somewhere it was cold. Laid up for a little bit. <laughs> He came back with the gray sweats and concords. That's the that's the number one don't trust nothing this nigga just did outfit. You see a nigga some gray sweats and some concords and some comfy shoes. He just got to it somewhere. <laughs> he had a, a time. Mm-hmm. And now it's time to get low. It's time to just be, I got to be comfy now. <laughs> I got to. The way recover I, real quick. Yeah, the way I went crazy. Ooh. Uh, Big Poe is here. Oh. Erickson is here. My main man. We all are here, man. How's everybody doing? How you feeling? You smell good. You look good. Talk to me. Talk to me. Feeling, feeling good, Great. man. Mm-hmm. We telling the truth today or we lying? Telling the truth. Telling the truth. Can we mix the two? Still, still got a couple months nah, left yeah, of the truth. You can, nah, you can mix them too. Right, I'm, I'm I blend. always mix a little bit. I'm going to blend the two. The best lie is to put some truth in it. Mm-hmm. That part too. You know what I was thinking of myself today? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to. I, I said to myself, self. Um, and I wondered, I wanted to ask you guys this. I was feeling happy, like really, 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 really happy. And then this feeling of foreboding fear popped up. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like the like you're so happy, but you're like, when's the other shoe gonna drop? When kind of thing. Foregoing the fear. Foreboding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ignore that part. Okay. Do you guys ever feel that? Well, I can't swim, so I got a fear for boating, too. (laughs) You are good. I can't swim. You are good. I don't get on boat. (laughs) That was a good one, yo. I don't get on boat. That was rapper brand, right? Yeah. 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 You were definitely missing from <laughs> Nelly's comments. We'll get to that. But anyways, so answer my question. Do you guys feel that? Foreboding fear, no. I, no, I, like... With the, I, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. I've, you, I've you, felt that you before. feel like you, you're you happy, and then you're just <laughs> like... Mean, do you feel like fear right after that? Because you're afraid that something's you know, going to happen to mess it up. Mm-hmm. That you can't live with the sense of happiness for a long time. Well, no, I sorry, think that's... Sorry, like you feel that. Traumatic or something. Like yeah, that. Maybe like it should. It might be a fucking trauma response. Totally. I understand what you're saying. I, I wondered if it was like maybe like more of a girl I'm certain thing. I've experienced that before. Yeah. It's just not coming to you know, me right now. Shit. I think I might experience that a lot. Okay. Like shit start rolling, rolling, and then something seems to just come and interrupt and mess up that moment. Mm. Where I can't just sit and live in that. Yeah. I experienced it so much that... I mean, I guess part of the reason I don't feel like that is because I just expect the worst. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I mean, like I try to place my expectations 
where they managing expectations where, where they should be. Yeah. 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 I, so when I life throws me a nice one over the place, like, ah, hey, <laughs> we lit. But any other time, no. yeah, I expect for foul ball. So, no, I just do the opposite. Like, been through some shit. So when a good time comes or something good happens, I'm going to appreciate this right now. Yeah. I ain't thinking about the other shoe to drop. I know what just happened before. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to be in this moment. Mm. Yeah. Man, I done heard, let me take this to my the board 90 times. <laughs> That's normally where it goes awry. It's a, it's a no. Once a nigga tell me you got to take it to the board. Yeah, because then they could come back and be like, listen, No phone buddy, call back? No, no. Nah, no, nah, I pulled for you, but, you know, you got to blame it on somebody else. Some of these companies, different size boards. I'm like, what are you saying? You got to run this up to how many people? A nigga, all of them don't like me. You ain't going to tell me you got to run this up to 50 people and they're going to hit, hit the yes on Joe. Whew. You go through that enough. <laughs> You'll just chill. As soon as you hear it, you You'll just like, chill out. Mm. You'll just chill out. If it comes, hey, salute. Yeah. But I think you're gonna be amazing. I think you've been amazing. You've had you've had such a year, such a run. Facts. Like, I don't want to get mushy, but it's okay, I don't from, mind. From, 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 <laughs> from where you started and just our conversations that we had leading into this thing and to see where you are right now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank it's beautiful. you. Beautiful. I'm happy for you. Thank you. You are annoying. I, I hey, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be remind, me if I wasn't. I want to remind you that don't think it's all roses and peaches and cream. Nope, not at all. Got some pits in there. But I'm gonna be sad that you're going. I think I think I speak for all of us except for one. We're gonna be sad that you're going. <laughs> We're gonna be sad. That you're going, honestly, for real, I speak for everybody except for a nigga with his own teacup. <laughs> <laughs> so I speak for the rest of the gang is all I'm saying if anybody else has any kind words they'd like to start no, with I, Far Sister Mel and please I just wanted me. to ask what, which I know we joke and say Collins and all, but what changed something changed like cause we we all notice it the oh, fans yeah. notice it I got a whole new Collins theory <laughs> by the way oh really oh please but what changed though okay. like it feel like towards the end of the year going into the top of the year like you just I don't, just had a little I, switch. Yeah, I just kind of things just kind of started coming together. That's it. That's really it. Like to the comfort comfortability thing. Yeah, a little bit. Found a groove, mm. but then also like Fig I start I, I started to feel like kind of like an embarrassment of riches kind of things. Like in terms of like opportunities, in terms of like um, being like loved on by like my community and stuff like that. So it's just come on, make it. It's just dope. Don't. That's it. Yeah, don't love like, oh, doing yeah. great. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and and you and yes, but you wait what? What could we see? Like I never know what that couch is like. What are they laughing at? <laughs> no. And they never say it. No, nope, they don't. Go ahead. No, I, I think Ice I, well I can't speak, speak for me. Ice Park. Yeah, yeah. Market. You know, she opened the door with the love on by the community, so I think niggas start, you know. But it's cool. Please don't let me stop you. I'm saying, on top of what you're saying, I feel like you spoke this. You spoke this to existence. You put this in your mind. You plant this. You set up for a year and a half, and and now you you're reaping the, the fruits of your hard work. That so, too. Happy it's really you. fascinating to see that happen. That's the end of the mail segment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. Congrats. Not Thank too much you. on mail. Thank you, Park. Bring Bring back. Back. Hey. 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 Okay. Let's pass the ball. How's everybody feeling? Great. What do y'all want to get to? <laughs> What's up, what, 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 where do y'all want to go? Ain't but so much music drop. I think I, I've said enough about music in the last two pods. <laughs> I know that. They clipping me up for any damn thing out there. Yeah, they sure are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Nah, a lot of niggas are green, though. But you said some dope ransom just dropped. Yeah, ransom and fraud drop. Ransom and fraud drop. Dope project. I listened to it once, so I don't have no deep dive, but sounded great. I haven't heard it yet. I bought it. I plan on listening to it. It's a long weekend. Shout out to Ram, Big Jersey. That's my man. No doubt. Love him to death. Couldn't be happier for him. It is a problem with me being happy for people, depending on what we talk about. I like it. This new artist just dropped, too. Um, blonde hair girl. Um, oh, that's how. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that girl. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I, 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 was, trying to, I was trying to be funny, but uh, Ariana Grande just. Oh, that's uh, hilarious. That's what I thought you meant. Yeah. She re yeah. remixed her uh, her look. I don't know who this person is now. I don't know, but 
salutes to her. But she just dropped, so. She did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I listened to that once as well. It was, um... Um... <sighs> It was you know whack. how like you it was go, whack. It was whack. We can say it, it was whack. It just it's miss, it's missing some seasoning. Well, she's well, missing I mean. some seasoning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they but took no, all but she used to have seasoning in the music a little bit more. The, the seasoning is gone. Victoria Monet is on doing her own thing. That's the problem. And it's uh, missing. You could you could hear it's missing. That's the problem with the Ariana Grande project. Yeah, it's all Max Martin. Mm. Who's I, him? I I hit the little sample spin button mm. on each of the songs. Yeah. And I fuck with Ariana, some of Ariana Grande albums. Me I too. do. So when Kino Daughter told me this was dropping, <laughs> <laughs> I was excited with her. Uh, but it sounded like just great, great, great poppy, poppy. Yeah, white, white pop. Songs. Very yeah, white it's, pop. It's not that other shit that she gave me when she hop on the hip hop sound and mm-hmm. shit and go crazy. I love that. But Could Victoria it? Monet is doing her own thing. Could it be I'm trying to get the fuck away from that? That's what it seems like to me. No, I think Victoria Monet left. Yeah, and that. No, but I'm just saying. I think it's that. We've seen a couple of them where she's. I got, I got what I needed out of hip hop. I don't. I, don't I get never. That. I never seen an Ariana Grande album where she didn't do that at least three times. Yeah, I just feel like only reason why I think that because I'm just watching the look change. Yeah, her look. I'm watching is her like, look changed, even just going to the deep super blonde, blonde look. Well, and she then, turned white again. So, um, so, that's, so I'm leaning more towards she, that. She beat. gave y'all the grande. She trying to give y'all a little bit of Shakira with a Whitney voice mm. early. She went to the tanning salon. She was dark. She fucked a few niggas. Come on, man. Come I'm on. just saying. And it's now it's more. time for them so, to be white again. Didn't we just? So that all that sounds like Miley the, music did the same that. shit. But, didn't no. I say Miley, Miley went white again, right? Yeah. Who? Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she, she took, the, she took yeah. the Jordans off. But they she, all take the Jordans. off. Well, her white be a little bit more fire. Her Miley. white is always Wait, fine. who got the better white? Miley. Miley, Miley, Miley for sure. By far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not. All right. <laughs> yeah. No pushback from me. Miley's spicy. Y'all want to fuck Miley Cyrus? No. Uh, yeah. I mean. All right. I mean. Wait, wait, I ain't going to say mean, no just fast. I'm like not. Yeah, that. y'all said that too quick. You said that really fast. <laughs> Let me think for a second. Hold up, man. <laughs> Carry the one. You, know what right. I mean? you just you showed me the flipped. picture of them AI grandmas and said you would hit one. So we know the one on the left. That you ain't kicking Miley Cyrus out of bed. What are you talking about, yo? Yo, Ice did go crazy over the AI grandmas. All yeah. I said was, if I speak, I didn't go that, crazy. That was enough. I didn't speak. That was enough. <laughs> no comment is a comment. Yeah, that's all. Ish. AI grandmas would have got flipped though. Nah. Molly ain't necessarily my. I'm oh, we're talking about no, 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 no. Forget no, 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 I'm not on them either. I, the Ari- I showed me. I was like, yeah. talking about the Ariana album. They <laughs> <laughs> were talking about popping Miley Cyrus. I'm good. <laughs> oh, I don't have nothing else. So don't look at no. <laughs> hey, oh. that shit y'all do. Don't do it. I ain't. I'm done. <laughs> got out. I'm done with <laughs> Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah, that's. I gave you what I what I had. Well, I came off the bench. Quality eight minutes. <laughs> got some rebounds. Yeah, some I, I did it. I kept I kept the lead that we had, and that's my time. Sub me out. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, all right, since we are talking about music, did y'all see that uh, Wayne has now been added to Drake's tour? No, I didn't see it. I saw that. Mm. Yeah. So originally, it was the um, after Drake's tour finished, he went back and and said he was going to hit the dates that they missed originally. Mm-hmm. They called it the biggest the what tour. It was him and J. Cole. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. J. Cole's not on that tour no more. Oh, really? It just calmly just happened. Damn, I missed. I missed. There was no I announcement. Some updates. It was nothing. <laughs> but it, it became Drake and Dirk. He, well, he added mm-hmm. Dirk, and then the next announcement was mm-hmm. he added Wayne. So now it's Drake, Dirk, and Wayne finishing out the rest of the tour. Mm. They've announced new dates. Like before, it was just the dates he originally missed the South, some of the Midwest. Now they got New York, Jersey, Philly. Like, oh, shit. It's a regular tour again. That ain't bad tour. That's not bad at all. Because the Cole and Drake, or the Cole and, yeah, Cole and Drake was supposed to be kind of like smaller markets, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was the ones that he missed originally. Got like, it. Like, you know how they say, oh, we missed it, we'll make this date up later on? Mm. He was actually making those dates up. Okay. I wish I could theorize to why J. Cole ain't a part of it no more, but I think it's going to be messy if I do it, so I'm going to leave it alone. Well, but we do messy up here. I mean, that's true. That's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. But Make I'm inter- like even with like this announcement, this sounds dope. I'm just more interested to find out why J Cole was no longer part of It I, seems like J Cole's rolling some shit out, so that could be. Well, that could it. be. It, yeah. But if you want to get messy, I please. Well, I, oh, go ahead. I don't know. Maybe maybe just the the, the crowd response might have been lackluster. I don't know. Maybe that they they 
just figured out they just don't blend as a touring act together on stage, maybe. I don't know. Maybe the crowds just didn't connect on both levels. When, when, mm -hmm. What's your, give me your ex name. Huh? What's your name on X across your socials? <laughs> oh, oh, Emani e Music. There you go. Give it up. Huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so find you quick. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe. Maybe. I think it was some. I, I don't think it was that. Okay. I, I think it was he was contracted or whatever they agreed upon was just for those to make up those small market dates. Mm. And I did what I helped you out on these dates. I'm off. Okay. Like he, he's announced his festival. You know, Cole's coming with something, so he probably get ready to roll out his own thing anyway. That's what I was. Gonna Cole say. got shit going on, man. Yeah. And, and the Dreamville mm -hmm. shit is going on, so in the oh, middle of right. the tour might not be the best. You know what I mean? The most opportune time in which to release that shit. All right, cool. I mean, but again, adding Wayne and, and Dirk is that's a hell enough of a for me. Huh? I'm in there. <laughs> Four Bats remix featuring Drake. Y'all know I fuck with this song. I like this song. Mm -hmm. And y'all asked for it. The streets asked for it. You got it. I'm whelmed. There's a minute left. I don't want to play the um, whole thing, but I think you get the gist of it by now. Uh, I I absolutely love the Four Bats record. I was looking forward to the the Drake remix. I'm not mad at it. I'm whelmed. Any anytime, anytime they do that beat switch with the forty underwater shit, and he started going, I like that. Mm. And this song was short. Yeah, it was. The original song the original, was two minutes long. This mm -hmm. is three and change. So. I enjoy it just on the strength of that. Mm. A slap that I liked is longer with a different vibe at the end. I would, I would like, I would have liked to hear him on the original bop though. He should have gave him mm. at least a, a couple bars on the original bop and then switched it. I like. I, no go. go. Oh, I, I think um, lyrically it was fire. It started to bore you after a little while, but all the lyrics was crazy. Mm -hmm. But if he would have did something else in there, like tempo change, yeah, something. Yeah, but you, you know, should, I, you I don't know. Be fucking about it. <laughs> See, I, ain't, I ain't even get bored by it. Like, nah, the lyrics was crazy, but it just it started rocking you to sleep on the second listen. It started rocking you to sleep. Um, he should have did a little bit of play. I don't like, know somewhere feel, in there. I feel like he could have. I feel like I didn't need that long of a verse from him. I felt like what at a certain point I would have been fine with them cutting it and would have been happy with the song as it was. I don't I don't think I needed an extra minute. You said it was went off for an extra minute. I yeah. didn't need an extra minute more of, of anything else. I think at a certain point, maybe at the 16th bar, I would have been good. Okay. And just... Oh, Big bars? I'm whelmed. It was cool. It was It was not... You said just you're whelmed. whelmed. I'm not whelmed. overwhelmed. Not I'm not underwhelmed. I'm just whelmed. It was cool. It was cool. It was... There, I've never heard nobody say that I was before. About to, I'm yeah, look, that's fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the thesaurus to see if that was because that's one. no, it's, it's that's a parksism. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. I'm whelmed. I'm whelmed. I like it. Yeah, I like this shit. I, I I like the fact that he rode the beat, paused, and just kept that flow going. Like you said, lyrics was on point. On point. I don't have nothing bad to say about it. I'm not mad when when you ride it. Pause again. Oh, you uh, yeah. I, know, I, know, I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. I'm not, I'm, I caught it. But I'm not mad at that as long as the shit sound good. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. people yeah. do that and then be like, all right, this shit is kind of trash now. Mm -hmm. I didn't get no, none that of that was, from this. That was quintessential Drake. Drake yeah. ain't never gonna sound bad on that. Mm. Drake ain't never gonna sound bad. Yeah. Mm. That yeah. Mm. It can get it can get a I little drawn know. out though. I, I, yeah. mm. He can sound bad. He can sound bad. I've, I've heard him sound bad. I've On been, that? I've, I've, I've been at the function when girls were celebrating their birthday day and out of nowhere, it's your fucking birthday. Come, come on. I'm like, oh. It was, it was some other birthday songs to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> it's your fucking birthday. Stand up, rep your set. <laughs> uh, you got all your girlfriends with you. <laughs> it's your fucking birthday. No, never got to hear that one. I've again. never been so happy for a smoke break. <laughs> Good. That's what I grabbed my car. In I'm the hookah bar, I'm ready out. for a smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to sound like hate. No, it ain't. And that's going to sound like hate. Yes, it is. It's a little bit. Mel, what'd you think? No, he's no it, was, it was quintessential it was Drake. But... What? No. Oh, that was quintessential. <laughs> I'm going to stop using the big words. <laughs> no, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. Just do it for the next three weeks. Okay. I'll be learning mad words when you be like, no, don't stop. You can't stop. You got to just. I'll be looking them up. Continue yeah. to just be a goof. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's fucked up. Why do we chain people for like 
being, being smart and shit. Well, is that being smart? Well, well there's smart, there's educated, there's yeah. intelligent, there's a few of these. They're not the same. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people that use big words. They don't know shit what the fuck they talking it's about. It's a very big difference between being um, well spoken and smart. Like you know what I'm saying? Some people be articulate, but they don't necessarily be smart. Right? It's her last day. <laughs> 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 I'm not talking about male though. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. Know, I'm Damn. just saying it's her last Sam, day. Sam, I wasn't here. talking about you. She's got the sweatsuit on. Uh, uh, uh. You look like you on a plane. That's your plane. Already. Already. Ooh, Ooh you you. That's a good assessment. I was on a plane this morning. Oh. This was my plane outfit. Mm. I came straight to the pod. There you go. Your dedication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You was, in that, uh, uh, you was out there having a blast. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. I was in Atlanta. It's not a secret. I mean, listen, if you won't say it, I won't say it. I was, that was there. Okay. It was on my story. Yeah. What was going on in Atlanta? Just a party. Huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, you flew to Atlanta for a party? Mm-hmm. Salute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's your it's girl. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> For that flight to the A. <laughs> For a party. You deserve to party. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Mel. It was fun. All right, go ahead, girl. Uh, all right, so we like this. That's the yeah. consensus. We like this. I yes, for cool. sure. Mm-hmm. I like it. I do. I'll play it. That's cool. I'm going to play it. And I'm I not will, playing I the whole thing, play. though. Huh? I'm not going to play the whole thing, though. I'm definitely. I like cut. the original version better. At a certain point, when I feel like I'm t- over it, I'll cut. How it you feel about this, Parks? <laughs> <laughs> He's wound. Whoa, Yo, Parks. Wound. Yo, Parks is well, great. T- yeah. Uh, what else That's is there? What else is there in music? Um, in music, J Cole and them announced the uh, Dreamville Festival. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, uh, Big Sat- Cole. Saturday, April sixth. Sunday, April seventh. In Raleigh. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm off the drink tour. Lineup looks got, great. To I me. got my own shit. I got to You know what I mean? Huh? That's why he's off the Drake tour. He's got his oh, own yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what oh, I'm saying. Right, right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yo, that, yeah. that might be why he can't really, you know what I mean? It's a lot of work, I'm sure, putting this shit together. Saturday's lineup. SZA, Chris Brown, mm-hmm. J.I.D., oh, yeah. Lil Yachty, Schoolboy Q, Sexy Red, Jeremiah, amongst others. That's lit. Yeah, I'm going to be home. Sunday's lineup. J. Cole, Nicki Minaj, Rima, Jeezy, Monica, Ray Swimmer, Key Glock, amongst others. Oh, shit. Ice is in there. Sound like mm-hmm. shrooms in the grass. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yo, That's what it's sounding like. That shit sound like Y'all will be out there tongue kissing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely in there for that Saturday. That Saturday is going to be amazing. That sounds fine. Sheesh. That Chris Brown scissor? That's it. Group that, trip? That's all I needed. That you don't got to have nobody else. I, yeah, that's it right there. Stop it right there. We going? Just Group like, trip? Go, let's Group what's trip. up? I mean, it's, a, it's a possibility. Get a little Give me party a little. bus. I don't know about all that. Uh, RV? Yeah. Take an RV? We do RV. Let's oh, go. We got to rap, we gotta yeah. rap it with the podcast. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> rap it with the podcast shit and y'all drive down. That would be fun. Wait, 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 wait. What's y'all? <laughs> Yo, the niggas that was going. Yeah, I'm a holler. Oh, you're not going? I'm, no, I ain't going. I mean, y'all can still drive. I holler at y'all niggas when I land. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what you Fam, you crazy. Fucking flat lever. Excuse what? me? What? I like a road trip, though. I love me it. too. I'm road trip king. I'm not mad at road trip. Who's no, driving though? Me. Who's your man? I'll there? drive. No, no, it's cool. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. oh, Hit shit. your. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, you get that back row. <laughs> you get all the way in the back. You know the one. Just go ahead and get some sleep. <laughs> we'll we'll get us there. I'll Actually, us there. I'll do it. I don't think I want you to go. I'm not going. I know, but if you were going, don't go. I'm not a festival guy. I'm not a cruise guy. I know the guy, some of the guy I am at 43. You just fuck up the drive. Mass smoke breaks and... Mm. Uh, it's true. Uh, it's true. Eat. That's true. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> you would, I see you as wanting to stop at like the slightest sign of inconvenience or discomfort. Because you are a posh bitch. <laughs> Right. Damn. She <laughs> said she was coming with aggression. Yeah. Last day she shit. Last day vibes. Get all then she go ahead and jump with one of these. Tap them. <laughs> little heart. She called me a posh, posh bitch. Yeah. She, did. she did. Posh spice ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Posh Look, bitch. He was, she was rolling. Look. Look. This nigga just sitting there processing it like. So what can you do with somebody to call you that? Yo? I want to challenge yeah, her. Nah, but you sitting there like, what I the think, fuck can you do? I think she's right. You are. I just never heard it quite <laughs> worded that way, but that shit said in my spirit. I am a posh bitch. <laughs> oh. That's funny, son. I don't want to be. 
no, you fancy. I want to change. No, you fancy. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you want to get posture. You just got here. What the fuck are you talking about? You leaving so soon? <laughs> oh, you shit. used to thug it. Up. That's crit, yo. Yo, the three y'all just shoot. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I ain't shot at nobody. No, I'm over here with y'all. Hey, yo, I ain't shot at this. So, can I get a water, Corey? Because now I got to fucking That's pop not, one of these niggas. That's not a diss. I need some. Hey, anytime you in the club and there's mad shit going on, but you need some to be able to throw Look, up one of these uh, niggas. got to hold it. Give him the long neck <laughs> bottle. Pause. Yeah, give, yeah. Me, give me this shit. Get the Corona bottle. Yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't a shot. Mm. That's a good thing, nigga. You used to thug it. You would drive cross country because you ain't had no choice. <laughs> oh, Another shit. shot. Oh, That's not shit. a choice. Because you ain't have a choice, <laughs> no. nigga. <laughs> drive from, oh, you drive from New York to California. Cook, get this shit off. Get this shit off. I'm lying? Quit <laughs> it. <laughs> <Get this shit. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mine, yo. I'll have both of you know mm. that <laughs> I've I've done it. Yeah, I've no, I, I know you it have ain't been in the a past. Whole, it ain't been a whole bunch of stops. No, I, either, I don't. Except for when I felt like we needed a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped for a car wash. Yeah. Everybody else was asleep. They woke up confused. But I've done this. <laughs> Listen, let me I've say, done Denver to Phoenix. I've, I've done that as well. Listen, li I like Posh Joe. That's far? I like Rich Joe. I like yes. Posh yes. Joe not fucking Posh Bitch. Yes. I didn't even That's know that a true. <laughs> 16 yes. plus. Like, is that in a, sn like, in a snow oh, storm? Yeah. Snow storm. Two? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Here come truck driving, man. No, I'm just. Well, that's light. I yeah. drove from here. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico. We drove, we drove together from fucking <laughs> Dallas to LA. We've yeah. taken all that's of the drives. Too. And yes. when I was broke, on my bucket list was to take that same cross country drive and stop at some of the lit spots and spend the night and just make it a thing like the white people do in the. Uh, in those shits, what's the name? Winnebago. 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 Yes, mm -hmm. that's kind of like what we did, but we didn't have the Winnebago. No, 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 we had a suburban. We had, yeah. we had a Tahoe and, Bago, and that's why Corey, that's why Corey's my man though, because every time he stopped that little suburban, he pulled up next to the flyest Winnebago in the world. <laughs> Some of them shits, I was asking the white people, hey, "Let me see inside of there." Oh, this fancy. We got tours. Mm -hmm. I met mm -hmm. families. Mm -hmm. Some of them knew me. Oh shit! What are you doing out here? <laughs> Thugging it. <laughs> nah, that Winnebago shit wasn't bad. Nah, there's mm -hmm. a way to do it. But anyway, we off on a tangent. Yeah. Yeah. Posh bitch. Mm -hmm. And you tried to hit me. You tried to touch me, and when you whoa, laughed, whoa, whoa, you, you did the extendo. You grabbed me and laughed. <laughs> and yeah, you did that thing. That's a disarm. Did y'all? Did y'all hear what Taraji had to say about black people and laughing and run, running away as they laugh? Yes. 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 Well. Guess who's still gonna play it? I didn't hear it. Oh, good. Here. We run away when we laugh <laughs> because we weren't allowed to laugh on those plantations. This is stuff that lives in us, y'all. This ain't nothing new, y'all. That's why y'all want, oh, what? Yeah, it lives in us. That doesn't just go away, like she said. And if we don't start unpacking it seriously, it will also be the end of us. This distinguished panel. <laughs> distinguished panel. Thoughts <clears throat> from from all, please, please, in a hurry. No need for all of you to just sit here in silence. She's basically saying it's generational trauma passed down. That's the, we the know reaction. What she's so. saying. We were looking for what you said before your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that white looking to jump out of you. Look, go ahead. <laughs> Look at the white jump, jumping out. <laughs> you can see the white jumping out like, yeah, bro. <laughs> Look, she ready. Hey, Mel, Taraji be in Harlem, too. <laughs> Just watch what you watch how I, you say it. You and she got hands. And she I got, love her. And she don't like, yeah. and she don't like them little video girls. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and she don't like y'all little vixen. Them little the <laughs> them little. little and she don't like little vixen hoes. <laughs> Roger likes me. <laughs> that I mean... Oh, you're done. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm passing the time. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, Mel is off work. Yeah, yeah, Mel work. ain't here with us. Mel no, I'm work. here. No. Even though that's how she normally is at work. No, shut up. <laughs> I'm here. No. I do mean, you think that... What do you think about what she said? Well, I mean, what she's saying is kind of like factual. So it's not really like she's stating just an opinion. There's It's rooted in actual fact. Oh, see, I don't know that. So explain it to me. Teach me. Well... When she's talking about plantation time, black people were not allowed to express joy. 
You know, and so when they had, that's where the term barrel of laughs come from, is like mm. black people hiding the fact that they were feeling joy or their fact, the fact that they found something funny because they weren't allowed to express joy. That's what she's talking about when she's, you know, expressing the sentiment. Anyone else? <laughs> what? Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else? What? I, it, just I just want to laugh. I do too. I just want to laugh. I do too. I am. I'm laughing. I'm, 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 I'm a barrel dying. of laughs right now. I'm a barrel of laughs. laughs. Two barrels. No, man. Um, it might be some truth to it, but I think it's just, we just over dramatic over shit, shit, man. That's what we do. Don't, but what's the context of the conversation? All there is is a clip. So what's the before? Why did this even come up in conversation? You know what I mean? Because Oprah didn't pay to Raji. <laughs> That's why. And ever since, <laughs> she is. So, why, so look, well, when, when, when niggas find something funny, why we do this? <laughs> are we whooping each other or something too? Because when we were slaves. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? We just extra. Yeah. Even if what you're saying is true, come on, let's get on with come some on, discourse man. here. <laughs> even if what you, oh shit. <laughs> even if what you're saying, even if what you're saying is true, Mel. I don't believe that that's why I do that. Me neither. I don't believe <laughs> so, that I, when I hit the laugh and run away, I can assure you it is not because of, of what generational trauma. my ancestors went through and I'm carrying it in my DNA and my bloodline. And that's why it's it 2024. It run. Mm-hmm. When my nigga, first of all, that theory is wrong because most of the shit I laugh at, you shouldn't laugh at. <laughs> I know why that that's that wrong already. That is a fact. If I'm just going by the universe, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hell no, I shouldn't be laughing at some of the shit I laugh at. You shouldn't me. I don't know. <laughs> I know that. Hey, I will give my give him a little shot. I have him 22. I had a little a little person on this shit. That's all. He fell out the chair. <laughs> fell out the chair. I watched that shit a million times. Oh, hey, I don't even care if it was fake or planned. <laughs> this little nigga tried to scoot up. <laughs> but <laughs> he was on the edge of the thing. That nigga head said, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I tell you I cried, I hit the rewind, watch again. I made it enlarge the screen. Oh my oh, lord! Oh. But anyway, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'm. That's why I'm running away with him. Me either, yo. How about, I, I, I what say you guys? Fuck out of it, yo. We Oprah got to. We got to stop. Do, 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 <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yo. Oprah, do the right thing. Yeah, Oprah, we do fucked up. Yo, Come on. We find a reason to dissect everything that we do. <laughs> I don't get it though. And then this is when all back this to is, some. This is when I start feeling like yeah, like Kanye with the whole some of that shit y'all just keeping alive. Word. So even if that shit is true. Why are you saying that in 2024? Oh, to ISIS point, when we laugh, we start hitting each other and leaning on each other. That came from slavery too. I'm gonna hit you because of masses and you cry. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you first. Get the fuck. Come well, on. Well, that dog. couldn't have came from slavery because you'd have been in the house. <laughs> you can't hit like ice. Ice wouldn't have been it with you in the house. Y'all, all that little Newark brother shit shit. <laughs> you think that's my man though? No. I'd corn, I'd have hit my man at the cornbread. Um, <laughs> you know yo, mean? ish. You know no, mean? the fuck we wouldn't have. Yes, I would. Get your own cornbread. No. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you hear me? Eyes in here. <laughs> yeah. I, I was playing the fiddle. And, and you don't have to fix that. You hear me? Humming in the sleep. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, you hear that they ice? Would've they would have flat, flat to left it. you. I'm just I ain't mad at you. Mm-hmm. You got fucked up. They would have flat to, left you. To know who you are is to know who you would have been in any era. And yeah, I'd have definitely hit him with the. Did my my boss? He ain't back up. Get him. The hairs and the Air Maxes. Nigga had the fucking fifteen hundred Air Maxes. Yo, this nigga, you might have been a little rat ass nigga. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yo, we. Anyway, everyone in this room. There's grandparents well, listening. Yeah, so, my, I'm sorry. So, oh, yeah, yeah, trigger, yeah, bad, trigger warning. Our so, bad. people were alive. My bad. I'm this, sorry. And none I'm of sorry. this is funny to them. Well, we but just Taraji got to get paid. That's it. If y'all just yeah. give up a color purple shit, she ain't going to. Come on, man. No, you got to watch the clip. It looked like she ain't had a good, hearty laugh in eight months. Well, she can't. Why? Because she would have to run. Oh, for crying out loud. Y'all, come on. <laughs> My girl, Big Mel. She's dancing, dancing. Dancing. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yo, when you gonna give up? Give that shit up. What? 
that. And be like you? No. Mm. No. Look at that. Yeah. You know enough words. You don't have to live on extremes. Mm. Mm. Not be like me. When you going to get that shit up? Never, right? <laughs> Never is here. I think what she was trying to say is... Well, put you... I was giving context to the clip. I was definitely giving context to the clip. That's mm. what I was giving was context to the clip. What else is But important? I do think that it was like... What, I, don't, I don't get why it has to be so serious. Especially about laughing. Yes. <laughs> Shannon Sharp said, I'm laughing all the way to the bank. My Cat Williams interview got me more than I ever made in any year of professional football. And fuck y'all haters. That's what he says. Mm. Bravo, applause for that. That's what he said. Does that mean we still can't joke on certain shit he do? Oh, nah, I'm able to joke. Oh, okay, cool. I'm able to joke. joke. All right, cool. Because just because you got some money off of that shit don't mean some of this shit that you're doing that no, I'm looking to crazy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I love Shannon. On, I just, but that nigga looks, he looks sick. How so? Expound. When he got out that, when he got out that goddamn truck, what's your name? <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna say it. I don't but what's care. What's your name across socials? Uh, Imani Music, right. Imani Music, whichever one. All right. When he did that little, you see now I'm in total all that other <laughs> shit, and his arms couldn't move because the, the green sh shit was moving. His, I ain't like seeing him like that. It only like reaffirms some of the little funny shit. You know he's out here. He just was I, in Queensbridge. He, he can't beat me up. He can't. I'm too small. He don't get no. He don't get no wins on that. You don't care about that. You just want to whoop your ass. Yeah, sometimes it don't be about the, Sometimes nigga don't the, care about the Wait, wait, hold on. All right. You think Shannon Sharp would see this, and I'm, he, he would probably be offended. You think he'd see this and be like, I'm going to beat his little light-skinned ass? No, but if he see you out, say, yo, hey, what's that shit you hey, said? You and, see, depend, and the way you, you know how you respond. You know what I'm going to say? No, you know no. what I'm going to say? I'm going to say sorry, sir. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he walk up to you and go, yo, we good? Yo, we good? Yes, we are, sir. Yes. Oh, I. You gotta know who the fuck you can. Respect. So time out. You'll say yes, we are to Shannon, but you won't say yes, we are to the street niggas with three D. He's now, talking about the club again. I didn't want to go back to that traumatic moment. <laughs> <laughs> you had to <laughs> laugh and run away. My bad. Far from you. Far from you. Got it, dog. My I didn't. Bad. I too didn't want to go back to that traumatic moment. <laughs> <laughs> you scarred. Yeah, I'm sorry. At, at all. But come on, let's be for real. We all saw it. Well, I won't say we all, but when I saw it, it did look funny. It looked funny. He's just too big to be wearing shit that tight, and then the grit, the orange little purse across his thing, and seemed like he can't move it. It looked a little funny. Think he leaning into it? No. Might, might be. That's what I think. Might be. I think all this shit, like, all right, that's what they saying. I'm gonna lean into it, get more talk, get more jokes, laughing yeah. to the bank. And by no, by no way do I think he is anything other than what he say he is. So I'm not trying yeah, to yeah. put that on him or not. But it look funny. You too big, nigga. It's just like a big nigga like that dancing. Like you don't want to see a big nigga like that dancing. Like like the group, I want to see a big nigga like that wearing tight shirts. Oh no, if a big nigga start dancing, go go go. <laughs> you know the big nigga that be in the restaurant is doing all that shit. Oh wait, now see that's different. That's no, different. it's not. Yes, no, it it's is. not. Yes, it is. Mm -mm. The what? <laughs> don't do the wait. grooving gorilla. You never seen you never seen him. The dude he the pop locking. He be doing all that Terry. Crew and he wears shit, the little the one that wears the little tight shorts. Mm -hmm. You don't need to retain this, I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll find the video and show it to I'm you later. Gonna, I'll pass. And text it's it to okay. him, right? Tonight. I'm going to text it to him. <laughs> You're going to find something to text. <laughs> you know now she's going to work for three weeks. Yeah. While I'm gone, I'm going no, to no, harass you. No, no, that's the reason for the text. how is the pod. Send the, send the link. <laughs> <laughs> send the link. Hey, what did you guys discuss on Patreon? Send the link. Hey, Mel, you still going to be in the chat sending us shit? I will. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Yo, I wish I'm the clear. people knew about Mel in the chat. Oh my god! Oh, so wish... She put a TED talk in there. <laughs> Wait, she put the TED talk in the chat and said, "Hey, you guys, this is the TED talk that I was referring to when Doctor Umar came on." <laughs> Nigga, that was yesterday. She said that. This fucking asshole. I said, He's you like, you know what? I was just thinking about that. Thank you for clearing that Mel. up. Fuck you. I was just wondering <laughs> Yo, where that clip was. Your response. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been looking for it <laughs> Voila. I had no idea she even mentioned the TED Talk. Before. I'm the only one that responds in there. I, and I don't like y'all just leaving her because it'd be Mel Ford right at the top and then it'd just be silent. <laughs> Wait, you giving out pity responses? <laughs> no. The pity that response? Was not, that wasn't the pity response. That was him being a dick. <laughs> A yeah. posh bitch. <laughs> Wait, why aren't you? Are you in the group chat? No, I, please don't put me in. I am. No. Yes, it's happening. Nah, you should have to come in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal with this too. Yeah, fact. 
Yeah, but he's gonna be in there replying to her. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, oh like, yeah, for talk, sure. Talking back to her, shit, he? like listening to her thoughts. Who me? I never saw that TED talk. Yes, yes, yeah, like respecting respecting her opinion. Wait, Teddy Teddy talk, Teddy Bear talks. Damn, that was the Teddiest of talks. Oh shit, that's crazy. Come on, there's a lot of shooting coming from over here. Listen, I'm trying to pick up life lessons from Mel. Man, leave me alone, man. Right. Uh, she's your OG. <laughs> All right, well, we uh, you got something else? <laughs> she's right yeah, yeah, I'm getting out of there. It's right at the rim, my nigga. You know that older lady like shit, too. Pause. What? Oh, shit. Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Hey, yo, she's right there. Like, I. Okay. <laughs> Ain't that a kink for some people? What? Yes. Yes. Older one. So why are you looking at me like that? No. We, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> First off, no, that's not the case, right? One. One. How much older you think Mel is to she ain't that much older to where we're like, oh, older lady, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, respond. What? No, how much older you think she would be in respects to Dog, ain't it a thing? Oh, uh, come no. on. Uh, you're about to make me sound like ish. You're about to make me sound like ish. I promise you, I will the do older- it. I will listen to the wrong voice. <laughs> I will misogynistic this whole shit. <laughs> go, do it. Go. Go. It's not a thing for people. Yes. To yes. fuck a 50 year old. That look like, like a not, hot 50. I'm yes. not 50. Like a hot 50. I'm not 50. There was a whole website Stop called Milf Hunter me. back in the day. Yeah. That was no, dedicated no, so to this. Why is he trying to make I'm me not sound like that. this? I think you young enough to where if somebody is a hot 50, that it could be a thing. I don't think I am. I don't think I would meet a 50. I'm like, ooh, she's 50. Yo. No. I, like, she, I think I've had enough, enough experience in life where I ain't going to be impressed by age. I'm... In my sex world, I'm 52, nigga. <laughs> I don't, but first of all, I don't want to hear how old you are in your sex world. Not years. <laughs> <laughs> Not <a> dick age. <laughs> <laughs> nigga pull his dick age out. <laughs> I'm 52. <laughs> dick wise, I'm not 50. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, with soul. <laughs> Who, and was you telling that to us? <laughs> no. We don't care. <laughs> uh, so speaking of Shannon Sharp. <laughs> I love when you catch my shit. Huh, was you telling us? No, I wasn't telling anyone. We come outside at 4 p.m. We'll get you in another place. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Shannon Sharp Shannon. interviewed Shannon Sharp interviewed uh, Steve, Steve Stout. Stout. Mm-hmm. You did. Steve Stout was up there. She's always a good time. Mm-hmm. Boys. Always a great time, always a great interview, great conversation. There's so much just wisdom, experience, and money that he's made. Oh my God, he just talked. Hey, that's all uh, I I don't hear nothing else. That's mm-hmm. it. Watching him, you just hear money. I don't hear nothing. And he put that stupid money voice on, too. Mm. Posh bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he did that shit while standing in Queensbridge. No. Mm-hmm. And he's not a posh bitch. I'm the posh bitch. He do that shit like I had this since 88. He mm-hmm. It looked mm-hmm. very different. Mm-hmm. And he said it. He put that voice on, though. Y'all yeah, so, hear the voice? Yeah, I mm-hmm. sold that right there for $190 million. When I was 28... <laughs> when I was 28 years old, I had a choice. I could stay at the label for $2.5 million, but there was this other brand that was just starting where I could make $100,000 a year. But if you have the vision, then, It'll you know... It'll carry you. So I left there, I went over there, don't you know, and one year one year later, I put that brand in the right spots on the right people to be seen and raise the visibility, don't you know? In two years, we sold for $180 million. I was 30, 30 years old. Mm-hmm. You just be looking at your phone like, <laughs> how, how old am I? <laughs> how old throw, am I? Throw this fucking phone in the Hudson. I don't even know how old I am. Yeah. What is age? What's, what's numbers? What is <laughs> that? <laughs> You yeah. did what at 27? That's crazy. Yeah. He tore a hole in uh, Skip Bayless' ass. Pause. He did. He yeah, went he on did. there and told the truth about Skip Bayless. He did. Which is just a fact. But, I mean, I love Skip. Shout out to Skip. And I do think that Skip has earned his coin. That's where I disagree. <laughs> but so it's blatantly obvious that he needs a black counterpart for, for the success. I agree. Mm-hmm. I like that everybody's coming on there and saying this on Shannon's platform I, I, without I Shannon having to say it. I think Skip would say that. Shannon get to ask messy shit and it don't come off messy because of all that Lululemon shit he got on. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> him and his interview team, whoever is helping him prepare for these interviews, they're is all smoking. going crazy. Mm-hmm. They all, they, he's having the best year ever. Like Steve even stopped him and said, who wrote that question for you? Something like that. And I was... When he asked about Kanye taking a mic at his wedding. Is this, no, there was another one too. I forgot what it was, but... Uh, they killing. The whole team is killing. It's not, yeah, just, it's yeah, not yeah. just Shannon. Yeah, that is one hundred percent a group effort, and they are killing shit. But yeah, Steve went crazy on Skip Bayless, and then he went into the Rockefeller split, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is a story that when are we going to get tired of the Rockefeller split story? I don't Never. know if you ever do. When I'm, I've I'm been asking, tired. I've been tired. So you're tired already. The well, rest I of don't. Me. I don't think we'll get tired until we hear from Jay. Yeah. Specifically, Specifically. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Which Who way? here thinks that they'll ever hear from Jay? Which say, is never. why we won't get tired of it. More than what you've already heard. Never. Yeah. But that, that's, that's what answers the question. That's why we'll never get tired of it. It's still going to be a lot of speculation. What's the name of that song? Lost one. Yeah. Like, what more we need from him? Okay. Make Make another uh, we we love went yeah. part like yeah that was yeah he did that was his, yeah, yeah that was his response he told us I will try, try to find it y'all talk no, no that's it. Record. but I'm just over that shit like I know Dame probably is over it every at every single Dame Dash interview it's Rockefeller revisited from 20 years ago that shit is insulting no shot is it as a compelling Dame interview without Rockefeller mentioned and, and, and which will lead to his I don't want to call it bitterness but which leads to him taking shots I think Dame is well spoken I think mm-hmm. Dame is um, diverse that he could talk about a whole bunch of different shit I don't think he's just Rockefeller bound in his, in, in, in his interviews his interviews be two and three hours long sometimes it ain't two and three hours what's of Rockefeller what's the part shit? that hits every time what's the part that clips up and goes viral I, what's the part that but that's not his fault though. I, nah, well, not but, that, that, but the interviewer knows I, I'm gonna get really this out fault, of you it's not really fault though it's I'm just, not saying fault we know yeah. what it is you bring a certain person here we know we are gonna get some Rockefeller from Dane mm. you get it yeah, yeah. Mm. never noticed it he did a lot of doubles in that song. I'm sorry. Fanboy <laughs> now. You never, you never, you never, you never does there. doubles like that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. That boy good, right? I think, I mean, if there's new information, I think we all here for it. And we rarely get new information, we though. We very rarely yeah. get new information. Dame is going on to do Dame things. Hove is going on to do Hove things. Mm-hmm. I don't really care. I think the conversation is over if there's ever a day where they can actually like piece it in a real way like I think we got one moment where they were in a picture together something for somebody else's somebody mm-hmm. birthday. birthday but if we had a moment where they could actually because we've seen it happen with Biggs comes back and mm-hmm. him and Jay's still working and Jay's pieced it up with Fat Joe and Jim and all that if we can have that moment where they piece it up in that way I think no one cares about the story no more that never happened yeah. I think it goes away never completely happened. I don't think that's ever gonna happen I don't happen. think that's ever gonna happen well, I don't think that what Steve said was the worst. Me neither. I don't, um, I don't think it was so bad, but I also don't know all the history between Steve and Dame. Yeah, like, I don't... And clearly there is history. Yeah, Dame has talked about Steve Stout a bunch. Dame has, Dame has ripped Steve Stout on numerous occasions. He said, um, one interview, <clears throat> pardon me, he said that every time somebody sues him, Steve gives them the lawyers. Or mm. Steve will be like a consultant to mm. help the people sue him. So he said he ain't like that. Dame has gone on Steve a, a bunch right, of times. Well, clearly there's some yeah, 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 there's there's animosity there. there but, um, but Dame ain't like none of that shit Steve said. And he responded with, that's why I had to pop you in your fucking mouth a few years back. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. What that was what he said. So and if, and if, it, if it's, like you said, if, it's, if we got some type of animosity, don't say my name at all yeah. about nothing. Even in a good manner. Just don't say my name. Yeah, but then it don't make for a good interview when That's people start really wanting. Oh, okay, I'm just, I'm just saying because you didn't come near. You didn't come near asking to be asked those questions, and then when you ask those questions, you either got a decision of being honest or just not giving a good interview. Yeah, okay, is, now you can give that. You can give that good interview, but now you just have to be prepared for whatever comes with I mean, yeah. that interview. Yo, not just that. This is Steve Stout, my nigga. This is black greatness. That nigga got enough information in his brain that he don't have to entertain Dame Dash rhetoric and can still give you a three hour interview. It's true. But I remember, for lack of a better way of expressing it, there has been like 
a several decades long ri kind of rivalry between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Like I remember that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, being on the set of Big Pimpin and in that circle, I remember, it's like Steve was Jay's straight man to where Dame was a fucking lunatic. Back then, pouring champagne, like all the rumors of him just kind of like being wild and stuff like that, and Jay wanting to take his you know, career on the straight and narrow kind of path, that was really evident at that time. And it seems like that's what they keep going back to, like in, in terms of the conversation. And what is your name across socials? <laughs> <laughs> she set herself right up for the vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Mella put her phone down and said, all right, fuck y'all. It's true. I will. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay, but the socials are... I have Melissa Ford. Okay. 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 I ain't going to stand alone. somebody looking for you. Well, the why. Yeah. Oh, uh, They know me. I'm staying out of <laughs> they shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they shit is from the 90s. Dame, my man. Steve, my man. Whatever the shit y'all did, I don't know nothing about both successful black men, like the, the grown up in me wants to say that was fucked up of Dame to respond like that, but I don't know that to be true. Mm. And be Dame been up. Dame for as long as I've known him. He's been Dame. Dame is Dame. And Steve sounds like he knows that. So you got to kind of know what may come from this person being this person. That's what I was saying. I know because well, I've been that person a lot. Could be a little poke in the bear at this point now if you keep talking about it. Mm. Steve, kill him with that fucking long gray uh, Louis fucking Sherlin to the just look floor. Rich. He is. That they don't he sell is. no more. <laughs> he is. Back he from just... 2011, one of one, of one whatever. Nigga. Yeah, I had, to, <laughs> I had this sitting in the closet for a decade and a half. Wore it twice. Steve is my man. And know what I like about Steve? That when is a black person that's getting some motion and, and dictating the space, Steve go right there. Well, I mean, he's in the ad business, so he ain't going to go right there. But I like that he goes right there. At his stature. I like that he came over here, brung a bottle mm -hmm. of wine, and said, why are you niggas still here? <laughs> why am I looking at a washer? I like try? all of that. <laughs> and the time before that, I, I seen him in Miami. I think a jeweler f flew in from London to present some shit at the table. I'm like, yo, go, go, I want to go to my room. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. I've seen enough for the night. Joe! Joe! Come here. I want you to see. No, don't, I don't want to see anything. I want to see my bed and my pillow. Lay your head on a pillow. Uh, yeah, I'm staying out. They beef. I am. And hey, I, shout out to Shannon again. And niggas too old to be fighting. And niggas too old to be fighting. So, some niggas don't niggas think they too old to fight. I, I know, but some niggas are too old to be fighting. I'm, I'm, but that don't mean you can't reminisce about a fight. Or it don't mean. Or I can let you know the, the fight. We can run it back. I don't want to see that. Uh, not really. Fifty something years. Old. The way that he was talking, he was he was he was choosing his words really wisely. I'm like talking he about was Dame. It don't take oh, only no. one person got to want to fight. I don't want to mm -hmm. see that from that from, would be ridiculous from two successful Some brothers at that age. Uh, okay. To be physically fighting. Y'all told me I was too grown. I, nigga stole me, so I, I don't want to hear shit. I agree. Well, and I'm young still, but. <laughs> And the stole rules should be different, I think, too, than just we talking online, talking some shit. Stole rules, in effect, is mm -hmm. if we 65, 70, wheelchair, handicapped, canes, <laughs> then you ain't, you can't steal, you can't steal off. That shit would be hilarious. I mean, yeah. when it's up, it's up. I mean, it's <laughs> just beating no, on I'm each saying, other with But that's canes. when the rules change. But other than that, we got to be mature, we got to be adults. All the same shit I just told Imani when he tried to do, you know, yeah. we won't talk about it. But yeah, we got to be, we got to be grown, mature adults. Every pod we come in here talking about our hip bone, our knees, our mm -hmm. foot. Mel mm -hmm. already told you the sound you make getting up from the couch compared to Dwayne Johnson, how he would get up from the couch. The rock. Like, she already told you that. He wasn't sitting Remember on that, couch. Big Mel? Yeah, I did. Oh, shit. Whoa, shit. You your man. Yo, your man is going. <laughs> that was hard. Man, that was fucked up. That was crazy. How you gonna say he wouldn't sit on this couch? What's wrong with this couch? Nigga, the couch is eight inches off the ground. Yeah. That nigga will be uh, 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 getting up too. What you fuck you talking about? You think so, Big Mel? No. Uh, All right, so this is <laughs> my yeah. favorite part of the show, Prize Picks! Prize Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in all of the land. 
Really easy to play. Luka Doncic messed me up last night, the other night. 33.5 points. Of course, I gave him a less. Mm. Of course, he scored 35. (laughs) Of course, just two points over. Mm. The other dude from Houston, Singala, whatever his name is. Welcome to basketball. Yeah. Yeah, he welcomed him. No, welcome to basketball. Oh, on prize prize picks. Yep. Well, listen, prize picks is so much fun. (laughs) And if you're you're a lot better than me, you have a great chance (laughs) of winning up to 25 times your money. You can also win up to 100 times your money on prize picks. With as little as four correct picks, all you have to do, look at the projected stat line, pick more, pick less. Sounds easy. Mm-hmm. Gets a little tricky. And you can turn $10 into 1000 with basketball, hockey, college basketball entries today. Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments at this time of year. True. So, shout out to you guys. Don't forget to use promo code JBP. And good luck to everyone out there participating. Mm -hmm. Go prize picks. Go prize picks. Mm -hmm. Uh, Speaking of old old people fighting. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) They have just announced Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul it's going down. It is. Exclusively live. on Netflix. On Netflix. That's crazy. Exclusively on Netflix. Fire. That's important. Netflix is opening some shit picks, up, Please boy. get that. I put my whole purse on Mike Tyson. Huh? All right, so you, that's what they want you to do. So you pick Mike. Do I pick Mike? You're picking Mike. You're picking I'm, Mike. I'm picking Mike. Who else here is picking Mike? I'm picking Mike. Yeah. Not I. Not really? me. Really? Hell no. Same. No, sir. Same what? I'm not picking him. I'm not picking Mike. It's too obvious. Respond to us. That the, the, the <laughs> fix is on? I think all I'm, of Jake Paul fights, the yeah. fix is on. Mm-hmm. I think every last one of them, the fix is on. I think Netflix gave Mike a bag that he couldn't turn down, couldn't refuse. And and I'll, he'll lose I, to Jake Paul? I, I think you it will be called keep marketing, a loss. Yeah, you can't keep marketing Mike Tyson. They can keep marketing yeah. Jake Paul all around the world. So and I the whole that. thing with Jake Paul is he ain't fought no real, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now we're going to put you up against Mike. They keep finding all, all his opponents be some unique pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, old MMA. What happens if Mike Tyson beats Jake Paul? Nothing. Nothing. Mike going to go right back to his crib, smoke some weed. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and so now the Jake Paul brand gets off the train. They can't keep marketing the same right. anymore. Mm-hmm. I understand. I just watch Mike Tyson still to this day, and he look fast as hell. Well, yeah, I don't think I Jake a, Paul can really beat up Mike Tyson. He really can't. I think I think all Jake Paul fights is the same as watching WWE. Yeah, it's scripted. I we know what's gonna happen. We're gonna make this entertaining. We're gonna do whatever we got to do. It's like watching Floyd, Floyd's fights. Totally coming. get that exactly. But same thing. Exhibitions. They're not. We not really. I'm not. It's not a real fight. Do you think that Mike Tyson would allow himself to publicly lose a fight, though? Maybe not lose. He might go do something to get a DQ. Mike Tyson has lost already in fights, yeah. right? So yes. he can, he can at this point in his career, 57 years old, he can understand taking a loss and un- also understanding that this kid's brand needs to continue to grow. Who else to help him do that by me taking this loss with him? I can see mm-hmm. that happening. We got some and, fun- oh. and being for real, I get that there might be some level of like acting or scripted, but Jake Paul really can fight. He can box. Mm-hmm. He can box. He mm-hmm. can. And he's strong and he's hit some people and they've all said he does have some power in his punch. I believe that to be true. Yeah. So, but I, do I think he's going in there with the thought, I'm about to go in there and try to knock out Mike Tyson? I wouldn't want to you know? shove him in drunk white boy night. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Stay wanna, out of that box. Yeah. Wanna, yeah, buddy. Yeah, all, all that shit you said sound good. It's Mike Tyson standing across from you. It's Mike Tyson at 57. We saw Mike Tyson fight Roy Jones, right? And even though that was an exhibition, right? They both, after, I think they did an eight round or something, they both Mm -hmm. looked at kind of like, we understand why y'all don't fight anymore. I don't think he's about to go in there and just show us anything different that he showed us than the Roy Jones shit. I think he's going to have power. You also see Roy Jones get on a bicycle and haul ass around that ring. And I, mm, yeah. Man, it's gonna be like Tommy Morrison in the, in the what was that Rocky Five? Rocky, Rocky Five. Rocky Five. <laughs> Rocky Five. That white boy was out there knocking niggas out. <laughs> or it that could be Tommy like Rocky Morrison. It could be like the Rocky after that, where Rocky got in the ring and fought Antonio Tarver, beating his ass up at an old age. You never know. When I have more time, I'm coming in here to rep for Rocky, man. They had an Antonio Tarver Rocky. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, I gave up. Rocky did yeah. all of that shit. Gave his heart, soul, blood, sweat, and tears to the franchise. Y'all had him acting when he was ninety-seven years old. He was still out there. 
Nigga old as hell. <laughs> and then y'all hand the shit off to some handsome young black Creed son. <laughs> Nigga, that's fire. Genius. It, it's fire to everybody not named Sylvester Stallone. He's still in it. No, no he's not. He's been mm-hmm. removed. No, he's been no. removed. Mm-hmm. He was fighting for the rights because this is my shit. Really? And they told yeah. him to kick rocks. Mm-hmm. They removed him. He was the trainer in Creed 1. Yeah. Then, mm-hmm. then uh, he didn't need no more trainer. He was no, no, he, no. Two. He, he was in two as well. And two. Oh, and, and two, what happened? They killed him or something? No, 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 no. no. no they, they decided. Yeah, like two scenes. They no, decided it was time for him to go live with his family. They wrote him off. Yeah, they wrote, yeah. They wrote yeah. him off. Oh, yeah, come, off come, on, come on. They wrote him off. Yeah. Don't, don't waste my time here. They wrote him off. And then, so, he, and then he went to go do Expendables. Score one for the blacks. That ain't black. Michael B. Jordan is black, man. Yeah, his jersey. And his jersey. And his jersey. No, that's his jersey no I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the niggas that wrote him off. Michael B. Jordan ain't Oh, no, I'm just saying. I got the role now. Now the franchise is here. Score one for the blacks. Yeah, but you got to have Rocky still involved in it. Yeah, no, yeah nigga. We watched Adrian die. Yeah. <laughs> Even if he's not on stream. We watched the trainer yeah. die. Paulie, too. Yeah, Paulie. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. We saw him fighting in the freezer, running up the steps. I had him off of the tangent. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I just think it's fucked up what they did to uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, who's our painter nigga that we like? Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> they did it to him. The niggas that made up McDonald's. They took that shit yeah. from y'all. Give me them little burger patties. Yes. <laughs> like every time we come up with some shit. This guy's stupid. Yeah. All right, man. Go ahead. Bob go ahead. Ross. Chill. Get your shit up. Yeah. So you oh, got yeah. you got you got Jake Paul? Huh? You got Jake Paul? Yeah. The, nice. I have the business of Jake Paul. Got mm-hmm. it. I got do it. not think that Jake Paul, if 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 he, if he look at Mike wrong on a plane, he's, he's gonna have a hard time. He's right. gonna have a rough flight. He's gonna have a, yeah, yeah, he's gonna have a rough flight. Exactly. <laughs> But when business is involved, I got Jake Paul. I got this being something happens that leads up to a rematch. They won already because I ain't never sat nowhere and tried to think of giving my Jake Paul fight predictions. They won. Yeah. I've never yeah. done this. Mm-hmm. Fam, they won because we can break. The whole world is going to tune into Netflix to watch mm-hmm. a live boxing match. For when sure. is it? July, July. Okay. Is the whole world tuning into Ryan Garcia? He's. I kind of do. Like I, Well, I don't know if the whole world is, but I can't wait to watch that. That's going to be amazing. I'm just talking about no, this no, week on, yeah, on yeah, Twitter. He's been, yeah. he's been bugging oh. Twitter, yeah. <laughs> on Twitter. On Twitter. Talking about the, the uh, spaces. spaces. Yeah. What is that shit called? I got the clip. I'm not playing it. No, please don't. I'm not. The Thank Bohemian you. something yeah. or something? Grove. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, my bad. Yeah, he's talking about things that are way above my pay grade. He doesn't look so well in the eyes. It started from the post. He looked like the stress is really starting to get to him, or he's doing a whole lot to sell his fight. That could be it. He talking about Epstein Island. Yeah, he's talking about all that But shit. you remember, it started from the post where his page was allegedly hacked or something. There was a post saying that they killed him. Oh, we killed him, RIP, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah, that's like what it happened to the little there. white girl. What's the little white girl name? That was my little girl. Oh, the influencer. Yeah, the little yeah, influencer yeah, little, girl that little, they said they killed. You can't trust these people. But okay, oh, little yeah. Tate. A little, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We old as hell. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, all of that shit is scary. Yeah, I, is. I hope he's all right. I don't know if they're trying to sell a fight or what, but yeah, I don't know what's going. I on. hope he's okay. And it's weird because he keeps saying, "All right, that's it. I'm not talking about nothing else but the fight." And then, and then, and then right then after that, here the, comes something else. Yeah. I I don't know. Mm. He's talking about a lot of things that people kind of stay away from, though. Mm. Yeah, he gonna get mopped up. All right. All right, that's it. Did y'all um? It's a new. I guess we call it a show. Okay. I don't know if it's a podcast. That was hate already? No, no. I don't know I guess. the proper term. You didn't I try to figure it out either. I don't know I the guess. proper term. I don't care what it's called. It's amazing to me. Extra hate. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's love. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Rooks and Joy Taylor. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah. It's a podcast. Oh, podcast. Yes, See, it's I don't called know. A, it's Today, a podcast. Today, the line is blurred. It's like, what's an album? What's a mixtape? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean. I mean, I've seen the promo picture that they took and put out. and I don't know what the podcast is about, but I'm going to listen to that. Double tap. Time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to listen at some point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just subscribe. I don't know what it's about either. Oh, hi. But it's fire, though. It's fire. <laughs> Two rising stars in the sports what? community. Expanding their repertoire to talk about more subjects than just sports. Yeah, yeah. That's basically yeah, it. they're not talking about sports. No, they probably will talk about sports, but they're talking about more than just sports. Whatever they're talking about, have, have the volume up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes. My volume broke. Oh. Shout, out, <laughs> shout out to Taylor Rooks. Yeah. Like, one of the conversations that's kind of making the rounds right now is that um, Joy Taylor said that she won't date men who do not have female friends. Yes. She said, she made it a point that if you do not have female fen- okay. friends, that tells me a lot about you and your, um, your comfort level with women 
not in a sexualized manner, like she kind of expounded I'm on it. I'll put the yeah. volume on for that conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. I saw it. Yeah. What'd you think of it? I think they look great. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but, no, I'm joking. Um, no, uh, like that, pati that particular <laughs> yeah. conversation, I told Sorry, you, audience. Horny. No. <laughs> no, no horny horny, just, horny just, wins uh, at I all times. I totally agree. I totally agree. Admiration is the new horny. <laughs> <laughs> I just admire you from afar. That's it. Oh, no, we, we, oh that's jail. Look, we joke a lot. <laughs> that's crazy. That's jail. <laughs> that's definitely a you charge. You cannot do that. It's a little stocky. That's on law and order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but we joking a lot, right? But, you know, we made the jokes about why we're starting to watch WWE again and you know, they starting to bring the beautiful women and you think like that's just a business model for all platforms at this point. Dog. Especially sports. I think they heard my melody, <laughs> read about my life in the papers, <laughs> all my run-ins with authorities, felonious capers. Come on, that's what I think if you're asking me. I think they saw me put big male rising act mm. actress star mm -hmm. on this couch. But you Add, shaking your head added, too. Added, added yeah. the sexy in the building as soon as them fucking potato sacks got out of here. I just bought a new and one. And as soon as we got the wigs. You know what I mean? As soon as we did it. dick. Sorry. Uh, once we did that, I think they saw it and was like, oh. So there. Gotta step yeah. it up. Gotta step it up. And I'm happy for Joy and Taylor because I, I want to say that this is their own thing. It is. Oh, okay. This That's is dope. theirs. Mm-hmm that two very successful professional women just said, hey, let's, let's, let's do, do this and let's do something different and let's see where it goes. Cause. I did also go to dinner with them. Taylor will never pick the spot again for dinner. Look at y'all's faces. Where'd y'all go? <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's that bad. I can't even tell you. Waggle one wagon? I didn't eat. You lying. Did they have Wagyu? I didn't look at the menu. <laughs> oh, Shut up, yo. I'm telling you something. Dollar menu? You went to Chipotle? I feel like I've come in here before and told y'all that Taylor Rooks is out of here. Have yes. I said that before? You called yes, her. And we knew she was out of here. Oh, Taylor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor is gone. She is. She mm -hmm. is out of here. So if she says, hey, how's this place? And I don't know the place. Oh, yeah, you are. I'm going to Google it. See if it's a vibe or Do not. Do a little Yelp. Yeah, and be like, all right, is this out the way for where I'm, you know what I mean? Moving and shaking. What was it, five stars I, on it you? Was a, it was one of them, like, private social clubs that mm. you couldn't even get into if mm. you got to have a membership only down there by Wall Street somewhere. Uh, okay. Like, uh, what, the she-she foo -foo of vibes. I'm waiting to hear what the problem is. <laughs> this shit I'm lost. Help <laughs> me out. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I hate that. You ain't posh yet enough yet. That's not my scene. That's not my vibe. That's not my mix. That's not my nothing. Was it like bankers and shit like that? Like there? It, I, it wasn't a, another black person in here. Mm. I didn't see him. Mm. Mm. I didn't see him. It was all the whites with the dress shirts doing yeah. their Friday night. And the checkbook shit. They was mm. in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They was in it. They, 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 they was in it. Listen, yeah. them white people. Right? Motherfuckers of high net worth, right? Listen, here. if Bon Jovi would have came on, maybe maybe I'd change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm in that spot, I need to uh, live on the prayer. Live on the prayer. And they would have yeah. lost yeah. their and then, minds. And then we'll vibe. And that's our cultural connection. Yeah. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. But what time that, you went? that wasn't there. This was late night. Centurion? Late night? I'm trying to hit the strip club in a second. I ain't got time for this shit. She foo foo shit, get me the fuck out of here. Had a hard time downstairs. <laughs> I want to tell you, but I can't. I want to tell you, but I can't. If I told the real story, boy, it's funny. But anyway, she she foo foo. Taylor is way more she she foo foo than me. And I'm picking a spot next time. Mm. That's it. But okay. I say that to say they sounded great in their ideas for what they were trying to do and where they were trying to go and their connection and what they wanted to talk about versus how they were viewed, the people they've spoken to about this. Like they have, they sound like they have put in the, the thought and thought. legwork I'm into sure. this. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to see where they They're go. They're both pros. So. And they got yeah. unlimited yeah. Part. Mm -hmm. part, part. From the looks of it, I might be wrong, they have unlimited resources at their um, disposal. Well, they both got their own bag. Mm -hmm. I mean, and they both got their own big bag. No, but and they got connections. That's one got... of the main things that takes podcasters out. Niggas got to do their job yeah. and pod. Mm, you got to yep. start paying for shit. Yep. Life start mm -hmm. lifing. Mm -hmm. They both are fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to see what they have Double in store. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. That point yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Now. Respect. Hey, 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 listen, now you're now. talking. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know I have time to sit at the she-she-foo-foo spot and talk... 
business with y'all fine asses on a hot Friday. <laughs> Sometimes you just, I can't say it. All right, come on. Moving on. What else? What else? <laughs> we'll take a break. What else we got? What else? Yeah, we'll walk to the kitchen. We'll take a break. We'll walk to the kitchen at some point. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Uh, it is Women's Month. It is. Yes. yes. Round of applause. For, come on. Yeah, man. All right. Come yeah. on. It is Women's Month. My wife yes. reminds me every they remind, four minutes. They remind you every day of March. Yep. Yeah. Some great Daylight, things. Daylight yeah. savings time this weekend, too. Sunday. Woo! Sunday. We back. Mm-hmm. Lose an hour. I think we got a great message from a woman on... International Women's International Day. International Women's oh. Day. Mm-hmm. No. Mel was Mel was telling us about them up just international. <laughs> 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 salute them properly. <laughs> <laughs> but Mel was telling us about a, a lovely press release that was released today. Big but, Mel, mm-hmm. you want to share with us what that was? Yes. So uh, Drea has announced her pregnancy at 28 weeks and seven months. Congratulations! Congratulations. 28 weeks, seven months. Right. Okay. okay. Bundle of joy. Yes. So she released a statement and it said, "Happy International Women's Day." As women, we navigate through so much, often leading us to question, what is my purpose? Mm. For me, the magic lies in motherhood and the awe-inspiring ability to bring life into this world over the span of two decades. Mm -hmm. It's my superpower. And if anything can surpass the wonder of being a woman, it is the privilege of bringing another woman into existence. Mm. Mm. We are overjoyed to share our love for you, little girl. I'm excited to speak words to the daughter I never thought that I'd have. We are anxious about your arrival, but take your time. This world can be tough. But know that you are being brought into a space of love, security, and adornment. Mm. 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 End statement. Oh, clap. Congratulations. (laughs) Could not be happier for Drea, man. Mm. Mm. Anytime, anytime you can welcome a life That's right. into the world of adornment and security. Ooh. Security. Yes. Anytime, security. anytime a little bundle of joy can help you find your purpose, and we pray for a nice, healthy baby. You said baby. purpose or purse? Purpose. 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 Yeah, we want to send thoughts, love, <laughs> and prayer to that entire family, and. I mean, I reported on this on the on the rumor when she was at the game with the overalls mm-hmm. on, yeah. covering it up. Uh, a lot of people gave me some flack out there, and there, there you have it from the horse's mm-hmm. mouth. Yeah, Dre is pregnant. International Women's Day. Mm-hmm. I mean, what a time! What a time to be alive. Yeah. That's right. Yes. I what? just wanted to read a little bit about what started Women's International uh, International oh, Women's Day. Oh, cool. It began in New York City on March 8, 1857 when cool. female textile workers marched in protest of unfair working conditions and unequal rights for women. It is off. one of the first organized strikes by working women during which they called for a shorter work day and decent wages. Okay. Oh, so she's supporting that. I'm glad that you read that. Mm-hmm. Now she ain't got to work no more. Can you also read some of the comments under the post? Sure. That's my. Oh, favorite. That's always man. my favorite thing. Nah, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> Just give me a couple. For the time. You can't do this in woman's history, man. On. <laughs> I love reading like the first ten comments when some. Bold if she's comments. smart, she turned the comments off. Well, she. I mean, she could turn the comments off on her page, but all the blogs are posting it right now. So and I'm gonna go to those. Yeah, yeah. That's where you gonna get the real. That's comments what you're right. And I'm gonna go to every one. <laughs> Put a whole hey, rest of the day for that I, one. I love when that shit say 14,000. <laughs> what? Oh, this is going to be a long shit. Good shit. <laughs> the best of shit. Oh, this is going to be a long shit. I got to take. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, here's one in support. Okay. okay. Oh, but um, well, let's we don't, start with we don't care about that. Uh, we don't care about the support. Okay. We just gave a support. We want to hear some <laughs> foul shit. Okay. Um, but not too foul. This is a public broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right, back. we'll come back to it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because I see. You, your lips is trembling. No, no. It, Why your bottom lip is doing that fucking can of shit? <laughs> <Fuck off. laughs> if securing the bag was a person, um, Joe Budden gonna have a field day with this one. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. Why would you read that? <laughs> Why would you read that in the middle of the field trip? So- <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Swings around. <laughs> Bad field trippy shit. <laughs> Um, by a kid the same age as her first son, that's predatory. So basically, Damn. this is kind of, you know. Consensus. It's the consensus, yes. Mm. Her son is that old? Her oldest son apparently is yeah, 20, 20, 21. Oh, shit. Sure. 22. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Congrats. Congrats. I don't have nothing to Congrats. say. Yo, I don't have nothing to say. Yeah, what's up? I don't know if it's private. Is you good? You got something to say? If your stepfather the same age as you, that might be some funny shit. We see it happen with the opposite gender all the time. It's true. Yeah. It's very it's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me nothing, nigga. Doing that shit, nigga. You take the garbage out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah. There were some of those comments in there, you know, that in the reverse, nobody says anything. Nice. So this is kind of like a societal double, double standard. So there was some of that. Uh-huh. I can guarantee you if I have a baby with a 22-year-old, somebody's going to say something. I was about oh, to say, yeah, that's yeah, more, yeah, for sure. Because yeah. a lot of people say a lot. Double standard. They, they're going to say something. They say a lot. Mm-hmm. People do say a lot. Mm-hmm. Some people were also saying, how come no one's talking about the fact that this could be his choice as well, that he wanted to have a baby with her. That's right. So that's at some of the other comments. True. I'm sure yeah, he did. That true. That's true. I didn't even look at it from that period. Never. Never. <laughs> Word. Well, he got, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. Niggas trap women. Mm. Listen, when all the dudes in the entertainment business get jammed up and some get pregnant that wasn't supposed to get pregnant, they spend between two and four fifty with some paperwork and send it over. Sorry, I don't think I thought that trick was out of the bag. I didn't think I was snitching. You not? We've read it publicly up here. Yeah, these niggas know what time it is. <laughs> If they both happy, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, and that's it. If they both Listen, happy. You like it, life. I love it. That's all it really matters. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's Everybody's it. individual it's a, happiness. It's a, it's a child being brought onto this earth. Amen. That's true. That's <laughs> it. That's true. Let's pray for a healthy birth, healthy child. That's it. Rest ain't our business. It's true. Y'all look <laughs> dumb as hell. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all that y'all look dumb as hell in the face. <laughs> Maybe I do too, but I wear shades. <laughs> Y'all look dumb as hell, and that that little bit of silence on the podcast is I'll well just say this shit. <laughs> like that little awkward silence is very speaks loud. Vol- speaks volumes. Very it, telling. Very it telling. Is loud. <laughs> but I'm happy for them. Yeah, that's I'm it. happy. Listen, that nigga dunking out the gym. Mm-hmm. Now they on her ass because they posted some pictures the other day of her being buddy buddy with. Uh, his girlfriend, his girlfriend at the time, the young girl, like she was at the games, they was at the house together. That's where it got a little mm-hmm. tricky if you follow some of the. the, the I don't know about mm-hmm. that. That changes a lot for you me. Make me want to leave. Well, the rumor, the rumor is she was at. New relationship. All right. Hold on, that changed a lot. Yeah, yeah, it changed a lot. Hell yeah, it changes a lot. That changes a lot, Ice. Think about I'm it. just asking. If you if if you are in pictures with the ex girlfriend at the time, looking like y'all got more relationship than you and the dude, then I can, now we talking to another level of predatory shit. That's we just talking like, about a sniper. That's what the sniper do. Yeah, find a way, to find your weakness at the high school. Find game. a way to get in. You can't be sniping at, at at the high school. game. Yeah, yeah, come on, don't snipe at the high school game, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, R. <laughs> Kelly was bad when we heard all the shit we heard about him. But once we heard he was pulling up to that high school at the little McDonald's across the street yeah. with his little plan and reserve table, it was like, hey, what, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> hey, hey, right hey. <laughs> the piss, <laughs> the that's my brother on the tape, all of that shit. But the McDonald's across the street from the high school. See, the good sniper. You got to go. The good sniper lay go. in the bushes and he just wait. I don't even want to hear. That's inappropriate. I don't, I don't even want to hear bushes yeah, in this, this conversation. This is bad, this is bad. All right. Think I'm playing. She No 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 we don't think you playing. We don't think she playing. She we wasn't just say, playing. No, we just saying she Kill shouldn't have been playing. <clears throat> All right. You say, would you guys No, did you <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yo, how they the nigga, don't talk, how the nigga be on the movie? Who the spotter what the spotter be doing? It's the spotter that he be like one, two. Yeah, he do like a count. He, he do like out. a count. Oh, Ali Baldwin. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> Joe! You are so <laughs> up. Right? Joe, you no, are not right. Twisted. No, once you do the count, no, you are. Yo, you are it, it did it count. Twisted. Right? <laughs> what he said? Action! <laughs> One, two. Jesus. That nigga was just on set. Like, <laughs> see, this goes back to what Taraji's saying. Just laughing about fucked up shit. Came from it's nobody. Trauma, it's a trauma, it's a trauma response. Yeah, trauma response. Yeah, came yeah. from. And in, Harris, in that situation, you see the um, the stunt the, girl. The yeah. stunt girls found guilty, found guilty in manslaughter. Guilty. By the way, involuntary oh, manslaughter. Wow. Another pat on the back for Joe. 
Well, not apologize. a pat on the back because a life was lost, but mm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I think they're gonna serve Alec Baldwin ass up on the same platter. I think I think that if the girl mm-hmm. got involuntary manslaughter, he might get the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only difference is the girl's company and the girl were responsible for uh the Handling whole the setup, firearms. the whole yeah. yeah. All that. Like I read Yeah, it. he's just he was just a producer. Those on live it. rounds were bought there a while ago. They shouldn't have been there. The gun wasn't checked. Like they went through the steps of all the missteps that led to this tragedy. Yeah, Alec Baldwin was going. I could have been the lawyer if, if he, he was, was if walking he was around standing. pulling the slide back in there. Oh. Are you the one that shot this shit? Yes or no? Say word is born. On gang. On gang. On gang. And I rest my case. Send him up. On gang. And I rest my case. Oh, man. That, that, that is it. <laughs> this nigga's a fool. Um, hey, and some other news. I mean, this is, this is important to me. I'm happy about it. Y'all may not care. Y'all may care. But it seemed like I care about everything you guys. It say. seemed like Jeezy heard us, and I say us, I mean the Jeezy fans. Mm. Mm-hmm. He went and announced a playlist show, okay, where he's allowing the day ones to submit to kind of curate what the set list is going to be. You said mm-hmm. yours in already. You said the ten. Ten, nigga. You don't want me to do the list. You're gonna be there all night. I love so, this idea. I love That's it. Fire. That's fire. Love it. I love this idea. He heard the fans. Yep. Mm-hmm. He heard the the reviews and was like. And y'all right. Mm-hmm. Y'all deserve. And I'm, and I'm a, I'm y'all deserve right. one, and I'm going to do it the right way. Do it y'all in Atlanta. can pick the set list. That shit sold out already. That's going to go the way it's supposed to go. Mm-hmm. See, I would even go to that. I'm, See, that I would go to. I'll go to the B side shows or the mm-hmm. anniversary shows, but. That sounds fine. Is he doing it with the band and the orchestra and all uh, that shit? I, I don't know. I didn't see okay. anything about he the band. If he does that, I saw a yes, yeah. I think. But um, he yeah. does. Like I said, he's done shows with the band. Right. So I don't know if it's full orchestra like that previous show. Yeah. But I do think he will have a band to some capacity. Okay. So. He and he got slaps. Yeah. Hopefully he does something yeah, similar to what Ross did. Uh, when Ross did his whole big show and he had a live orchestra there and everything. Hopefully did, something like yeah, that. He, he yeah. just did an orchestra show a couple okay. months ago. That's dope. So I'm happy to hear that, and I'm definitely going to be in Atlanta for that one. Uh, okay, now's a good time to talk about uh, what Nelly said. All Let's right. do it. Did anybody hear what Nelly said? I did. I mm-hmm. did. I did not, but I'll pretend like I did. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't even really have to play this. He basically, he basically, uh, he basically said that his era was the toughest, was the toughest era to be in. Oh wait, let me. Let me play this while you're sitting here. Though. I know you're sitting right here. And we do certain shit, right? I never discredit writers who write on my album. I got hella co-writers and we do certain shit, right? Describe but us. Quick little sidebar. It's just like this. They can write it. Who gonna sing it like me? Yeah, you can snap your fingers all you want. I, I, I know I know who coming after. Don't snap. Don't dance. Don't dance. Don't, move. don't dance. Don't move. No. Yeah, don't sing. Don't at harmony. None of this shit. Mm. Come on, Romeo Santos. <laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> Hey, as a vocal guy, come on, on, Romeo Santos. Let me do let me do it because cause Come on, Romeo. When I'm just as passionate about things that I'm right about, let me be just as passionate about when I say things that are just kinda outlandish, right? So on an episode I said whatever I said about no longer wanting to hear people compare Usher and Chris Brown, Mm -hmm. I still stand in that, right? I don't want to hear the two comparisons, but let me just be very clear for the public when I say what I say. Chris Brown is that nigga. He's gonna always be that nigga. And he's going to die, that nigga, as far as when it comes to just this industry shit. Mm. He kills that shit in comparison to what Usher did. 100%. And I am in no position to ever say anything against his talent. Okay. That's it. Nelly claims that the 2000s was the, quote, toughest era of hip-hop ever. He said, when I put out songs, I had to go against DMX, Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Ludacris, and all of us are fighting for one spot. He spoke about how for his uh, diamond-selling country grammar album, he wasn't even uh, nominated for Best New Artist. Mm -hmm. He said in 2001, Alicia Keys was the person that won that, and he said she should have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the competition was was steep Mm -hmm. for him. I've said that a million times, but it hits different here in Nelly. Yeah, coming from the guy that ruled that era, at least. Yeah, he was one of them. But that's why, see, his list is... All of those people that was them too. X, Hove, M, Wayne, 50, Luda, and he stopped talking. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because he ain't I kept Jai. going. Because Jai's in there, you mm-hmm. had to deal with. Jai's Shit, definitely. I had to deal with Jeezy coming out with all of BMF. You had to deal with T.I. coming out. Mm-hmm. Shit, I had to deal with Cassidy, but that's a whole other story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying, 
that 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 little ninety nine to oh five. It was real. Yes, yeah. It was tough, hard to get a ticket. Hard to get a ticket. And if you wasn't actively trying to compete in that shit, you're not going to understand. Am that. I mistaken to say fa- include Fab in there? Fab, Fab, Fab. Yeah, for sure. Right? And, yeah. and in the late yeah, 80s, it took some of my shine. In the late 80s, you had to put Mason in <laughs> until he retired. Oh, here you go, aging us out. No, I'm just saying. That. Well, you retired before 99. No. That album came out in 98. Harlem World came out in 98. And Mace was fish grease. Double up. Was Double up came was, in like 2000. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so, yeah. He faded to black, but yeah. That, that shit was real. I don't think Mace is in that time period, though. He's a little bit before. Late 90s. A hair, a hair, a hair before. Yeah. But I, Nelly 100% is correct. He's right. I want to yeah. fact check you, but I'm going to just take your word for it right now. On Harlem World? Yeah, I feel like it was 97. And we can check. I, think it was I was in front of Newark, Minnesota, and I was washing cars, nigga. Niggas was pulling up with Lexus explaining that shit. I was hating. It's all right. <laughs> Talking about $3 car wash. 97. Yeah, I'll take this car. Oh, 97. O- October 97. Oh. Transparency, when you look at me. <laughs> but anyway, real tough error. I'm glad that Nelly right. said it. It hit different when a nigga that sold 10 million records says it, uh-huh. and he is absolutely right. That was, I'm, 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 maybe I'm the only one on the other side here. That was the toughest error to do what? Sell. Be out. To compete. Sell, Sell and compete. compete. Yes. And be a top yeah, to dog. To anything. To anything. Y'all were able to be mainstream artists then. It couldn't be the toughest error. In the 80s, they ain't had that. They didn't have them outlets y'all got. Y'all niggas was popping up, a, a Midwest nigga, where you had the internet, you had the world actually able to hear your music. You're it, wrong. I'm wrong? You're wrong. How? Do you know how hard it was that, for that nigga to be from the Midwest yeah, it's and easy. get and acclaim on the East Coast and the West Coast? They was dissing the shit out of St. Louis. And my point is And in the, the 80s, that, that it, wasn't an expectation. Hip hop yeah. wasn't in the eighties. Yeah. That wasn't even the expectation. No, so that's going, harder than you, y'all can't even. No, you had no. to be nice. He you talking had, about selling he talking records. About competition. He talking yeah. about competition. You dropping had more comp in that. Yes, era. he said, no, "Yo, no, are we no. fighting for one spot." I, I didn't. That's all why I asked of these niggas. No, that's all these niggas. I'm, I'm I'm going to blows with this nigga and this nigga and this nigga and this nigga, and I still got to the top. And they, they started the conversation off asking him. Being from St. Louis, was it hard to get like respect and earn his keep? And he was like, "Hell yeah, that's and that's what started that conversation." Okay, but what that that's, nigga had that's mad why I for clarity? Yeah, because yeah, that might have been around a time where people stopped going to the record stores to buy multiple projects. They had to choose which project I'm buying at this point. Like with the Kanye and Fifty shit, they had to make a fake beef just to get people to be motivated to get both purchases mm. at mm. that point. So maybe at that point in time, I was like, listen, we either going to go buy the Nelly joint, we're going to go buy the M joint, whoever, and just see who lands on top at that point. Yeah, Royce funny. was with a young artist uh, yesterday who's got some motion, some traction happening, and he was just asking us old niggas, like, about the different times. Like, he, he was inquisitive. He was mm-hmm. like, what, what was it like back then, and how hard was it? And what was y'all metric for, like, the way we look at streams? And I was explaining to him, hey, back then there was this thing called BDS, Mm-hmm. which counts how many times your record plays on, on radio. radio and that's what you went by. And when we had that whole long talk and we just got into some of the things you had to do as an artist back then, like the free promo tour mm. had to happen. College tours. Mm. So mm. now these kids got to think that they got a record and they, they hit upload and they work it like that. From mm-hmm. your phone. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, no, I think today might be hard because I got to do shit from my phone. And we all laughed. We had that old nigga moment like, Dinosaur yeah, shit, from, from, your, from your phone. phone. You, can make, wow. you can make the song, <laughs> shoot the you video, mean, edit wow. everything, mix it down. Right in your wow. room. We had to do free <laughs> promo <laughs> tours. We had to do free promo tours. We had to go to that DJ Power Summit every year mm-hmm. where the DJs from all over the world came. And now you had to kiss their ass and mm-hmm. suck dick paws to even get your record played <laughs> That's true. somewhere. Mm-hmm. We had to deal with the fake BDS spins from markets that didn't even matter. And here's where we really blew his head off. No new fact here. We had to send people to a store. Right. right. Mm. Although today it is difficult to cut through, being that there's so much more product available. And to have any type of longevity yeah. is much more difficult. I counter that with uh, Ghetto Fabulous and Blueprint dropping on 9-11. Yeah. Different battles. 
Yeah. Both they, difficult. You, you got it. Yeah, they both difficult. They both. They both difficult. You do got to cut through today. That's yeah. bottom line. So good luck to all y'all young kids out there. Yeah, but that was the definitely peak era as far as superstars in one place. Commercialism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get now that I understand. And back I and back then, just the way, just on the strength of how deals were structured back then, I had a five album deal with an option for them, <laughs> hmm. and albums wasn't. Yeah, you drink, you lucky to get an album. You wasn't doing an album a year actually. No, Unless you had to be hot. Mm-hmm. You had to be one yeah. of them to do that. You had to be on the a limit. five album <laughs> deal is a lifetime contract back then. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, different fights, different strokes, different folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? What else? What else? We got that's important, unimportant. Uh, we well, just we could take a quick second just to show respect to. Uh, I want to make sure I say this name correctly. Uh, Akira T- Toriyama. Toriyama. Which is the creator of Dragon Ball Z. He passed at the age of 68. 68. I know Flip has been up here getting his anime on, so it would only be right that we... And past anime, he's legendary. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of sad people about this. For sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not all the way familiar, but I saw a lot of people in deep mourning. Yeah. 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 I had people calling and texting my phone. I'm not talking about social media, like really reaching out, fucked up over this. Mm -hmm. I did not understand exactly. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, so I didn't know. But he Dragon Ball Z was huge. Dragon yeah, Ball Z no, was no, huge. I understand. He was, like, I he was doing comic book shit. It, he was mm-hmm. doing a bunch of shit. It was, it was, it's a whole movement mm-hmm. that they had going on. Yeah, it's a big deal to the to the community mm-hmm. for sure. Rest for in sure. peace. I wish we want to show our respects. To... Yeah, I really wish Flip was here. Yeah, yeah, word for real. This was this was a flip. He might, he might yeah. have shed a tear. Probably called out because he's mourning. Because of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. We don't. He won't talk to us. That's true. Stupid, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I'm tell you, I'm gonna just start sending wellness checks like Karen's. <laughs> <laughs> they go over there knocking the door and just see what's going on. For real, I make sure everybody. Yeah, right. You said like Karen's or like parents. I said Karen's. Parents too though. <laughs> Y'all got a system in place for that? Nah. Think about it. I know you're right. We getting up there. Really? Th- I have a system in place now. Like, I got... What's your system? Um, I have... Nosy. Yeah, I want to know. Well, I'm I have nosy. a level of... I have... Me and my moms, we have a, a, a daily contact by a certain time. Mm-hmm. Um, daily? Daily. Oh, wow. Daily. We have yeah. to speak every morning by a certain time. It happen daily. Fam, I live by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I live by myself. Daily? <laughs> my, not, the, not the sadness out, but my biggest, biggest fear is for that to happen and baby girls in the house. And now I'm sad. Sorry, but I'm just saying. So that, but that is the the check with moms. Yo, if I don't reach by a certain time, she knows the um, she got a spare. But and she lives like 15 minutes away from me. Mm-hmm. If if you can't reach me, she got my location, and I'm still in the house and ain't moving or nothing. We have to pop up there. Mm-hmm. I think it's sad that my That's wellness good. check is that if you don't see me post on Twitter or Instagram in like three. Three days, mm. then no. it might be Check something. No, no, no. I know, that can, that can, I know. No. That's sad. That I know that. that shouldn't be the case. Yeah, you have that has to be fixed immediately. I like sometimes disconnecting from everyone. So how does that happen yeah, if but. you have to continuously do a daily wellness check? Mm. Like I would like to be able to say, guess what? The next two days, I don't want to hear from nobody. I don't want to see nobody. I want to be able to turn off my phone, go somewhere, and just chill. And you're gonna be found. And if I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, you're gonna be found. Finding laying out on that the floor. day and tomorrow ain't gonna matter. Your cat's gonna be eating you and shit. Well, yesterday I don't want to make this morbid, but it does matter the condition that your body is found in and the time I mean, after you die. That's true. It does matter, mm-hmm. especially in the summer. If you want to be viewed a certain way in an open casket, it, it man, like, I mean, it I get it. the niggas ain't gonna be able to put your frohawk on. None of that. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> if I come there and you've been dead for like a week, it's like, all right, nigga, like zip this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no funeral, yeah. no yeah. Yeah. Open yeah. The window, man. Yeah, zip zip this, zip zip this. I text Flip to check on him. So he says he's doing okay. And the odor coming through. It's like, yeah, hell, I'm spray saying. for breeze this nigga. <laughs> Light a candle. <laughs> See, this is why they hit E and say, he don't have no real friends up here. So I'm, I'm joking. Hey, to E, other friends that I don't know in 20 years, we joking. Hey, it's something I want to... Ch- <laughs> chill out. Oh, shit. Chill out, yo. <laughs> yeah, I hate when my friends start talking about their other friends. Like, <laughs> nigga, I know y'all for 17 years. Where they at? Where are these niggas? Well, you know, you know what his brother... My bro- other friend. You know what his nigga, brothers I'm are? I'm your friend, nigga. Shut brother. up. We just was friends. I hate that shit. His Hold brothers on. are West. Mm-hmm. I never are you come around serious? y'all talking about my right? other friends. You can never say that I to never us. come around talking about my other friends. I've met mad new friends that we've just met out of nowhere that you said you've known for years. That ain't mean that's my friend. The, the same thing over here. Just because you ain't meet them don't mean I don't have a whole nother sec of friends. 
Respect though, but respect. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, <laughs> right? That's that's peace. But let them niggas know. <laughs> let, them, let them know where the friends. Yeah, at. yeah, yeah. What's up? <laughs> you want to be the best friend? Yo, this no, I ain't like that shit that they did. <laughs> what? Where Amani was pouring his heart out on the Patreon episode, and, and I let me not say we. I cracked the joke, and then they start calling and texting him. Talking, oh my god, their joke's not your real Certain friends I don't, don't give a fuck. Certain <laughs> friends don't know other friends' humor. Right, That's so true. I have a sect of friends that will check on me in a way to make it very clear. Hey, we're checking on. I you. feel like all my friends, other friends, should know my humor. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all my friends, other friends, should know my humor. I don't want to hear this shit. Yo, dog, niggas, we tell them about me. That's niggas, crazy. we call tell them about me. Like, yo, we good up there? Oh, uh, I be like, yo, Joe, what? Do you, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, we good. Now we got a topic. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, we Joe, good, bro. Do you think that you represent your friendship the greatest in, in public? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Salute. Nah. Yes. Salute. Respect. 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 On God. No, respect <laughs> and salute. Okay, dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> On grandma. <laughs> you got yeah. it. Yeah, I do. I do. This nigga's a fucking mm. idiot, yo. Oh, it's just me that's going to say No, it ain't you. Oh, I'm it just ain't you. No, it ain't just you. It's cool. I've definitely gotten them calls too, though. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so Yo, we're... fuck your T Mobile phones. <laughs> <laughs> That y'all was wrong about, by the way. AT&T AT is still. crushing. Yeah, the number one by far. <laughs> by far. They just sit here and say no, shit. I didn't say yes, they are. Yes, they are. It okay. was like yes, double. Yes, they are. More than double. Close, like 400 close. something million. The next one was like 200. Are, are you crushing. talking about the tower count? They crushing. I'm talking about. They, they crushing. Nah, we, we hey, hey, big dog. I got AT&T. So hey, big dog. Same. I got stats to back mine though. We can compare any day. But okay. we ain't got to. We do that later. Hey, big dog. I know. I know. I'm just talking. I know. What else? Be wrong. What else? What else? What else is important or unimportant? I don't care. We got the Tyson. Uh, oh shit! I mean, we was talking about death. Uh, did y'all want, oh. are y'all familiar with the uh, gentleman Sheldon? I don't even want to say gentleman, but Sheldon Johnson, who was a guest on the Joe Rogan show, and I saw the he was screen a, caps he was of a, it. He was a convict turned. Uh, Chang gave his, changed his life around it. Changed his life yeah. around, mm -hmm. and he apparently shot and murdered someone in in his what? crib and dismembered God, them. Yeah. And put the arms and shit in bags and put, head was in and put your head in the freezer. Mm. And he's in jail. Yeah. He's in jail. And the neighbors said they heard the victim pleading with him. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's, 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 it's more. I'm, it's, cool. it's, I'm crazy. Well, I'm, and there's crazy. another story of a young lady who her, her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, I don't even want to talk about it, but it's bad. I'll queue up outstanding. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> well, can we send well wishes to... Um, there's a young adult star by the name of Emily uh, Willis that mm -hmm. is in a coma right now. Damn, the family's man. not sure if she's going to make it through, but she's a very popular uh, adult star. Mm -hmm. And we've been seeing a lot of that happening in that industry of late. So, Something's going on over there. Uh, well wishes to her. Hope she gets better. Yeah, yeah for man. sure. On the subject of, of death real quick. Go ahead. I just want to <laughs> let everybody know. We, I know a lot of us have iPhones. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that happened. Um, you know, my mom runs her church or whatever. And... Uh, they had a member pass and you know everything's face id now so the the person's wife was like yo can you help me get into this, the phone so we can get contacts and pictures to you know for the funeral stuff a lot of people don't know that when your phone is like a safe when when that happens mm -hmm. so they have i'm just letting everybody know out there you might want to think about setting it up there's an option in your phone called legacy contact mm -hmm. yeah where if something were to happen to you you can have a designated person that upon getting like your death certificate and stuff, oh, that's that dope. it will unlock your phone through Apple for them. Oh, that's wow. dope. Mm. That's dope. A lot, I think a lot of people need to hear that before it's too late and Yo. you can't do deal with I thought things. the girls be catching y'all niggas while y'all sleep. And Yo, who? Your face. Ain't nothing. I don't even have no lock on my phone around my baby. Oh, par man. Pardon me, bro. Mm. I leave something in there for you to catch. <laughs> I know. You told me that. You know but then bad. you said that happened to I you before. I don't play. You asleep. Well, that's the, happened to me the, all my life. The difference is all my life I had to like, fight. The, all the time, <laughs> all the time niggas got caught. They knew the code. We talking about when they don't know the code. No, and they hold, he's talking about holding the phone nah, up to a sleeping it. face. Nah. You you isn't, the, isn't it the yeah, eyes that wrong. have to be open for that? I was wrong yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I, I not how you. she got it. No, not at all. Uh, I told you that once the Instagram is running, it keeps running. Your phone never locks. Oh, mm. that's, so you fell asleep with the, oh yeah yeah so your phone never locked stupid <laughs> stupid <laughs> big mail coming back from the A hey, hey. fresh off the plane hey just you and Takara I'm sure I was with Takara yes wait yeah Thir just you and Takara I'm sure 33C mm? what seat 
two A. Oh, my bad. Oh. I just asked the question. I'm sorry. If I see you and Takara in the club, nigga. It's Bisquick time. <laughs> 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 I'm shutting up. Yo, nope, dog. No, no, hey, no. If I walk in the club, right. if I walk in the club and see her and Takara tipsy doing that shit, they would do ah, girl, girl, girl night. Oh, I get like a fucking lion in the club. <laughs> and then we hit that button that niggas got. What button is that? Where you, where you got her? You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, Isa, please. No, I don't know. I know you don't. No, no, no. I know no, no. You don't. What is it? What is it? Y'all know the button, man. Is gotta, you know the button? Turn it I have no idea. <laughs> man, Yo, you, know how, you know how when LeBron uh, closed the playoff time, he used to go dark? Yeah, zero dark 30. That. You know, okay. like, you know how they got like playoff Jimmy Butler? You know the yeah, difference? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, the difference, right? Yeah, yeah. When the regular season is over and you see Mel Ford and Takara just sitting there looking doofy in the face. <laughs> three drinks in. <laughs> three, three yeah. Three drinks in. About to buy the four, fifth, and sixth for him. Huh? Well, right right mm -hmm. huh? Biscuit time. <laughs> flip, flip, flip. Time to flip him over. <laughs> how you, hey, how y'all like your pancake? So, <laughs> crunchy around the, the crunchy. sides. Fluffy, on, fluffy. A little brown in the middle. Fluffy on the crunchy on the edges. <laughs> yep. Put a couple of chocolate chips Ooh, on mine. Go ahead. Fuck it. Like it. Hey, and he scored all them points. Only played but 22 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, like, it wasn't even a long day. Yo, quick. Actually, hold up. Where my phone at? Yeah. Oh, shit. Actually, I'm sorry. Niggas I'm sorry. Me, I'm sorry. Just give, If y'all give me two seconds. <laughs> little pigs in the blanket. Yo, biscuit time. <laughs> If you're stupid, <laughs> he's got little pigs in a blanket. <laughs> little I'm saying, you know what I mean? That's cool, that's cool, dog. Actually, I'm sorry. Real niggas walk in the club. <laughs> C Mel Ford and Takara. How many drink? Four? Three and a half. Yeah. Say less. Off the screen, one dribble hang, one, two. Oh! <laughs> Cross, bounce, bounce, step back. Oh my God. Plow! <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> the court vision was different. Mm. Jack. And then what? Filet. Oh! Filet. I thought Kenny was really going upstairs, though. Like, hey! I said, hey! Bounce, spin. Oh my God, touch earth. Hey! Mm. Now, I'm jogging back to get jammed on. Help! <laughs> yeah, y'all know about Penny Hardaway, man. Uh, wait. Do hey, yo, shout to Filet, yo. Research. Shout to the best check. commentator in the Play. world. Ever. One hundred percent. Ever. I like to share. <laughs> hey. um, excuse me. Skip through. Show up uh -oh. and under with the left hand. Ooh, oh, oh hey. God. What type of chips do you like, uh -oh. Penny? Up and under lefty lays. <laughs> lefty lays. What kind of shit you like? No, that's a two minute clip. If you let him no, go, yo, he's gonna start that nigga's hilarious. Barbecue lays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, Filet, we love you, man. Word. Friend of the show. All right, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Is there anything else important? Oh, oh Mike, well, important. Mike Epps. I'm not sure if y'all heard about the Mike Epps interview he did with. Uh, since we talking about basketball. Oh, you gonna get Shannon and Mike Epps on your ass, boys? Uh oh, no, nah, no. Well, not reported. But we got your oh, socials. Yeah, you, you, you look at it. We got your though. socials. Imani music. Um, look how quick you said that for Mike Epps. He didn't say that that passed for Shannon. I fuck with Mike Epps. You spelled it out. E M. Oh, I got a funny <laughs> story <laughs> to tell you. I fuck with Mike Epps. <laughs> End of the day, story. Mike Epps was on uh, the Up and Smoke podcast mm -hmm. with uh, Stephen Jackson, Jackson, and uh, Matt Barnes. And he had mentioned something about just wanting to become a better man for women because he felt like his karma was based upon not being the greatest man to women. He's currently married. And when he went home... <laughs> yeah. when, uh, yeah. You can't get on these podcasts talking. Yeah, you, wifey, wifey ain't like that shit. So she... Uh, you can't get on these podcasts yeah, talking. Yeah, she, she, she quickly went ahead and must have said something when he got home. So he then made it very clear that... Um, I ain't doing no more motherfucking interviews. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm quitting social media. Nah, he Salute. He and said, he even said, man, fuck all y'all. Man, he went crazy yeah, nah. off of the mistake he made. What he said on shaky interview. household. Yeah. He cursed everybody with a microphone out because he said some shit. That, that's how Smart move. Smart move. Yeah. On the interview, he talked about how um, he had just finally got blessed with a daughter. And he said his mother had passed away. And on the day his mother passed away, like a couple of days after he had just had a daughter, and he was like, yo, I know I wasn't getting a daughter because I always treated all the women like shit. Wait, no, he wasn't getting a son. 
A son, I'm sorry. A son, yeah. Because yeah. uh, I treated every woman in my life like shit for all these years. I lied to every single one of them. He was just going. And I, I ain't know he was married like that until the other shit came out. Like, yeah, you wilding, my nigga. See, I'm not all the way mad at that part. Me neither. But if you married, you can't. Once you get to, I never felt love really, and I deserve that in in life. It's on my bucket list to know what real love feels like. Your wife is looking at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she don't mm-hmm. like that. I said some shit like that in an interview one time. My girl at the time, I forgot about her. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. I mean, from your point of view, that they look was a little crazy. I was just talking shit. Like, I wasn't really thinking about it. And these damn potters and these microphones. That nigga went home and that household was shaky. What? Mm. Frying pan came smooth. Uh, on the walk in. It's my man right there. Walked into, I was late. It's already kind of day off. You might have gone on, nigga. I am. I am. <laughs> All right, how you feel? I just want to know how you feel. Are you good? No. All right. You got the negative test? Big flip came to check on us. Don't come in, man. He came here to spread some skin. Get that blue around. Get that Get the fuck out. We love you, bud. We love you, but look, you but look light skin. Come on, we're not docking you, babe. You can just go. <laughs> you, it's your world. You, you got the day. That's my man. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. oh, look what I did. It's look what I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, nah. For real, I can't get sick. Bomb me, bomb. I've been sick, too, man. Oh, no, 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 no. right over you and shit. Nigga crazy. Hey, yo, listen. Can y'all see me? I just came here to say rest in peace to the Dragon Balls. We did it. We did it. We We held you down. We held you down. No, 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 no. Hold on. Get up. Get up, nigga. Let me see real quick. Oh, man. This guy. No, don't (laughs) touch. Yo, Mel, you good? Hi. Why are you you moving too far from me, gang? I'm I'm positioning myself to look at you while you talk. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. It's good to see y'all. Good day, sir. Yes, sir? Y'all missed me real quick before I get into it? We did. Yeah, we did. Okay, so R.I.P. the Dragon Ball Z creator, Akira Toshiyama, um, passed away at 68. I just want to say this real quick. This is why I came in, because I had to come in on a sick day straight from the hospital, took a shower, nasty, but I had to pay respect because this man, (laughs) stop looking like that. This man was a big part of our childhood, mine. You know, when you in the crib and you going through some issues where you have problems that don't, don't look at that. When you have problems in school, not being bullied, because I, I like to go there and call us nerds. Mm. But when you're a problem child, these anime put you in a different world mentally. And it was a, a major part of my childhood and adulthood. All right, can you do this adulthood. for us? Adulthood, yes. Can you give us the, the Goku joint when he, when he load up? Are you crazy? You I, can't do that for, for to Akira? Yeah, I'm Real sick. Quick. You could, come I on. can't give you a command may away, but what I could do is say, we're going to put some respect and say R.I.P. I came in to just say that. I had to put some respect on his name. It's a, it's a, it's a <sighs> sad day. You cried? I did. I mm. did. I cried because I was sick. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, Nick 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 but, yes. You my man. You could have FaceTimed us and we'd have plugged you yeah, up. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, but hold on. So when he come in here sick like this. We say the same shit to him. the same shit. <laughs> I can see the dedication. Like, while taking a shower, I was thinking that I can't wait to get over there and get everybody sick because he gets all of us sick. You know what's crazy? The, the thing that I feel you, right? Think it's crazy. The only thing that I guess he get the leeway is because it's a Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> Got it. So with me, it's just like, go on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right salute. We love you. We love, love you, though. Wish you was better. Hold on, wait. I just want to make sure that y'all kicking me out. They're just We're kicking you out. Yeah. Yes. Get the fuck out. Man, you look at And you know, I really don't want you. I'm hating oh, on you so man. I'm hating you, on you, you so bad. You're you gonna go film. You're talking you a lot. You're spreading the shit around yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, like. And you get louder and shit. Hey, yo, like, R.I.P. Akira. And you can go out that way. Yeah, and walk around. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Akira. You know what I'm saying? We miss you. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, uh, everything. The movie. I love you, man. For real. I'm hurt. I know I was hurt more because I was sick, but I'm still hurt by your death. Queens. All right, salute. Get well soon, my brother. Why Yo, y'all rushing me out. It's crazy. <laughs> you ain't got the joint, the Grammy music when they start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick. There we go. I'm going I'm to give you one of those. Yeah. Let's give you one of those. <laughs> I got a four-year-old. <laughs> Change your socks, nigga. No, no, just go out that door. <laughs> hey, real quick. Hey, real quick. Hey, Nick, pass that lights all over there real yeah, quick. Yeah, word. Bro. We still got wipes? Word. Of all the microphones for him to use, 
<laughs> the nigga come breathe right over my shoulder. Now I look like ice blowing the answer off the mic. <laughs> no, they would ball. not let that clip go. Yo. Never, never nah, should. They should. It was funny, son. I'm that was the hilarious. last one here that could get sick again after that last two week back to back. Niggas already looking at me like magic. Look like a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> niggas already. So when I was going on. Once you once you get sick like three times back to back to back, niggas looking at you like your immune system is in the trash and get away from them. So, I was coughing for six months. I love months, you, Flip. Nigga. You've been going no, we know. a lot longer no, we than know. that. Yeah. I ain't coughing no more. I know. It. I know. Uh, I'm glad you got once you got that your penicillin. Once you did that little shave thing. Penicillin's not just for that. <laughs> you know, that shave thing really <laughs> fixed you up. <laughs> La- laser that right on out. Yeah, laser, they lasered the cough out of you. Nah, that's great. They got it out, though. They got it out, though. This guy's a fool, yo. If Mel's not here and y'all start choking, who you want to give you CPR? Let me go. Go ahead, let me go. <laughs> I'm cool, King. You can't stop me. Yo, you get here, man. Punch me you stop me, man. I'm good. Yo, men are the so... The mud bath shit. What is this? I'm like, with the mud bath. We trying to save a life. We just did that whole health rant earlier. Yeah, facts. But, you know, when it's your time, it's Let your time, King. It's not your time if I can save you. <laughs> I right. would be saved. And I'm going to save both of y'all, too. Let's see. Here you go. <laughs> double. <laughs> double CPR. <laughs> you have a three-way yeah. CPR. Come on. Three-way CPR. All it takes is one white boy. All it takes is one white boy, one white boy far, I'm sorry. to get out of here. <laughs> nah, I got to save you, niggas. Nah, man. Man. You just feels go. different nah, now. I know it. Don't go. I'm a, I'm a, I got to go with the white boy. You got to go Parks. You what? gotta go parks. They kiss Wait. dogs in the mouth. Wait. Wait. <laughs> you gotta go parks. Why are you? All right. I mean, that sounds like a hate. <laughs> no, okay. I, I received no, that. No, I'm just saying because there's a lot of things that white men do that we don't even give them, hit them with the no homo or the pause and all that. We just let them get what? away with it because they're white. That's the one what? you want to give you CPR. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, because, because, he said. because they would get away with it because they're white. Now, if you see two black dudes and you're trying to save each other in that manner, we're going to pause what you're doing. Once but if Parks <laughs> did it, we're not going to pause Parks. Yeah. He white. Once the fans tie this to y'all little masa rant earlier. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, they go have Hey, Reddit. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Big Reddit. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all, y'all got, right now. You y'all see got it, everybody's crazy. socials. I'll be there, Reddit. That's, that. that's the one the bar go out. A hundred, hundred, hundred comments. <laughs> Quick. Oh, oh, I got to take a long shit. Yeah. Uh, all right, so listen. We have a very, very... Oh, I can't even do all of that. Yeah, yeah, this no, is my man. Can't. This is my brother. This is my family. I feel weird even introing. This is my guy right here. I, I love him like, come on, man. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what it is with me. Hopefully he does too. One of my favorite people on earth. Make some noise. See? You can almost not even say nothing. The niggas out there kind of know who it is. Royce, mm-hmm. come on, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Royce. Big Royce. Big Royce. Big Royce. <laughs> my guy, look at Royce, man. Yeah, you look, come on, you look a little slim right too, y'all. Am I going to get sick? No, no, no. You, no, no, you, no, 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 no. you should be good. <laughs> You should be good. Is this the Queen's Flip microphone? Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. One of the best rappers in the world, one of the best people in the world. Royce the Five Nine is here. Thank you. And if you compare the green suit with the overall sash thing, true. Don't. To, to, Shannon. to Shannon. You look, it, Nah, it, it looks different. Yeah, I mean, it no, looks it's different. different. It's very different. <laughs> it looks different. That nigga tried to put you Well, back. I was just trying to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's fucked up that he's having the run he's having, and all black people care about is this part. Bro, See what I'm saying? The that's double it. point. <laughs> we ain't shit at all. Now, if he was white, would we care? No. No, no wait, what yeah. is up? He ain't one of ours. We don't care. I'm just saying. Well, because when the white niggas is brolic, it looked like steroids and creatine. <laughs> when black people are brought like one of the best tight ends in the world just look like the Lululemon might be a little too small <laughs> that's it I know he got a Lululemon deal but anyway Royce what Yo. are you doing here what are you doing in town what's happening you look great I Thank miss you, you my brother you too I, I love you I had a blast last night love at Kino's too, house for dinner Parks lamb chops last night oh man yeah. <laughs> still somebody. running from it wait, no. wait did Parks not get an invite you I did didn't get not. an invite I did not whoa oh you running from it oh Mm-hmm. No, Kino was outside on the grill when I pulled up. Outside on the charcoal, the big nana, grandma, big mama, the shit that was just in Sumter, South Carolina with my Uncle Marion and them. Mm-hmm. Love you, Uncle Mary. He was on that grill mm-hmm. outside. People mm-hmm. bringing out the chops. He was bugging. And he said, I almost taped him, but I was going through something. He said, yeah, I'm looking for parks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my phone was that right shit there. Was good. Mm-hmm. And, they made, and they made the halal shit, the, the chicken with the white sauce with the yellow bright tomatoes. Then he put some, he, he was bugging in there last night. What? Anytime Kino texts me and say, that's the only th- 
If he texts me and says it's dinner time at 6, I'm near. 5.55. Yeah, I'm near. I'm near. Well, a little late because it's time to be off. But why are you here, Royce? <laughs> I'm working on a partnership with the, with the Detroit Pistons, and we did a, a merch capsule um, to honor and commemorate Jay Dilla, the late, great Jay Dilla. Mm-hmm. That shit so is I brought hard. everybody. I brought everybody hoodies. Do we have enough for everybody? How much? How many do we have, Keno? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, I need one of them four. Okay. <laughs> now, Keno, that's not acceptable from you because you've been up here too many times. You, you know, know it's 90 of us up here. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. We played the little game. It was mad of us. Come on, man. Ain't you no know. bigger Dilla fan in this room than me. So. Bet you ain't. Guess yeah. you ain't get a hoodie. What's all of you, Ish? Our team. <laughs> it's like, you one X? One X. Our team. Wait, nice. wait. You, you a large? He's one not X. a one X. One X? Who not a one X? Mind Who's you wear hoodies? I'm a large. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I just had to make sure, you know, because I know how R&B singers are, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah, niggas wear, wear suits. Oh, yeah. I think uh, I might wear more hoodies than everybody else. No, you don't. With, well, the, leather, with, the, leather, with the leather I, sleeves. <laughs> you more, you more suave than everybody else, bro. <laughs> He used to come out. I'm getting, with some I'm getting summer leather vest vibes. When I come out. <laughs> listen, yeah, listen, listen. here. Listen, taking me back, baby. <laughs> good times. Why you, why you look like you lost some weight? You yeah, looking you healthy slimmy, and yo. good. I you hope it's what, not. You know what epic. I did? You know what I did, man? I, I turned vegan for like six months. Mm. So after it got a little bit boring to me, and I went back to just eating, kind of like not exactly how I was eating before, but um. I introduced chicken and stuff back into my diet. So because I went through that process, now I won't eat anything too crazy and I won't eat late. Mm. So I'm not, if I'm at the I studio, heard about that not eating late. Similar, yeah, if similar I'm at the studio to what I'm and I got like, you know, when the options start dwindling down on Uber mm-hmm. Eats, I'll just wait until the morning. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, mm-hmm. all, the, all the greats like you, like you kiss, styles, it seemed like the older y'all get. Y'all just the more keep health conscious they become. Healthier become. and looking well, yeah. younger and yes, that's health why. Yeah, that's that money, yo. That's why I'm giving you CPR, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yo. There you go. Open it up. <laughs> <laughs> You start getting up there in age, you start wanting to live, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was in my twenties. I was like, I want to die. Mm. Yeah, like by, like by the time I hit my late thirties, it was like, hold on. I think I want to live to be I like a hundred. Word is bomb. Mm-hmm. No bullshit. I think about that shit every day now. Like, like a hundred, like, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. not a hundred for me. Nah, I want a hundred. I don't want a hundred. My daughter, seventeen months old. My other daughter, eight. I want to be here as long as I possibly can. Yeah, wow. yeah when you start having girls, that changes everything. That functional, at least a functional, somewhat yeah. hundred. Fuck yeah, got to be. That. I don't want to be bedridden. That's I got three little girls in a row, three daughters in a row. I gotta live to be a hundred. And you gotta keep your shit sharp. I need to check all boyfriends. And you gotta keep your shit sharp. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, and my son, my hey. oldest son, is, 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 is strong <laughs> and, and, and an adult. Mm. Mm. Got to keep it together. Word. Right, yeah. I think he feel like he owed me from some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably think together. he can get you too. I'm sure he think he can. Now. No bullshit. He think he can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Might have to take him out in the yard. One yeah. Day. Mm-hmm. Just real quick. Bah! <laughs> you, ain't, you, you ain't had one of those moments. You with, need, with you, my you baby. Haven't needed to do that. Not with my baby. Mm-mm. How old is he? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. He well, didn't I, try you at sixteen. No, he told at 16, no. At 13, 14, he told his mother on me. Mm. That was his trick, telling his mom on me. Like, my tone and just my, I'm a lot. And I didn't think about that with him. He went right back to his mom and said, yeah, that nigga is, <laughs> yo, <laughs> that nigga is crazy. Yo, yo, so hold on. He spoke to me, wow. Me- me- Mello, Mello just said something about how his son was on the platform and was telling Lala, like, oh, my favorite basketball player is Paul George, right? And she got mad, like, how you not going to say your dad? And Melo was like, listen, I'm going to have to take him out and school him real quick just to show him. You, you ain't going to have to do that with Trey? Like, as far as bars at some point? No. Nah. Show him you still got it? Because he can rap. No, nah, thank, thank the Lord. No, that's not my, that's not my story with, with him. Like, it was the first 10 years, rough. But that next 10, that's my man, man. What mm-hmm. kind of rapper is he? What kind of rap does he do? Well, I don't know, because one, one year he was saying, fuck that moon music shit. And then the next year, everything sounded like moon music shit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, grown up, all right, it's in your blood. <laughs> in, your, in your bones. Can't run from <laughs> <it>. Genetics. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure enough. But my, man, my, my baby was working. 
my baby got a girlfriend, lost a girlfriend, <laughs> got another one, lost her. But is he, is he writing songs about these relationships? I'm sure. He, okay, he well, calling me you know, all day. The apple don't fall far, far from the tree. 25. Mm. Oh, yeah, oh right. my lord! And and, and I heard and I actually heard he's twenty six. He just turned. He got fired me too. And I heard some of his fire, fire. Like, he's fire good. vocalist. He's yeah. good. I'm definitely proud. I'm definitely proud. I'm, I'm neck and neck with Joe. Joe's pretty proud. I'm I'm over here like I feel good. <laughs> <at Joe's now." laughs> yeah, but he's he's really good. He he went a completely different direction from the direction that I went. And which life, is what I what I usually see, creatively, oh, musically. Gotcha, 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 mm. gotcha. Basically, like the opposite of me. Mm-hmm. Musically, you think they be trying to do that shit on purpose? I think it's like, so they I, can have their individuality. I think it's a bit to deal with having a parent that's an yeah. established mm-hmm. artist. I slept on that that yeah, part. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like I went to one of his basketball games when he was in high school, and he asked his mother, "Can can Dad not come to the next game dressed like Royce the Five Nine? Mm. I don't even know what the fuck that. I don't even know how to feel. Like, that. <laughs> like what? I, well, no. okay. So, I mean, so you can imagine, like, some of the stuff that goes Mentally on. Mentally in yeah. their head. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I can only imagine. So. It, can I ask about Prime? Sure. Where's Prime? I'm working on it. We're working on it. Prime 3. Slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. Working on anything else? You know what I always mm-hmm. ask you about? Yeah, what? Bar exam? BME. I would just talk. Oh. Hmm. That could happen. That might happen. But prime, it's, there's more prime music that exists, and this is the first time in my career that I've been like up to my ear in preem beats that I haven't got a chance to get to yet. Mm. Oh, that's good. You know, so preem is preem is like super focused. I can only dream to be that inspired at his age, where he is right now, how long he's been around, all the things that he's accomplished, and how motivated he continues to just be. Mm. I'm definitely inspiring, but um. Yeah, I've been working on it slowly but surely. But like I was telling Parks when we was off camera, mm. I'm, I'm not. The the raps don't they don't bring me as the fulfillment as easy as they used to. Mm. Mm. What are you finding? Expound. You know, like when you when you complete something, like all my fulfillment used to come come in completion. Now it's like, it's not a motivate a motivational thing because I can I can give it to you however you want it. I can write it whatever it is, mm-hmm. but. I can't always write it and feel that feeling that I'm looking for. It's way harder now than it used to be. Is Probably that- just from just doing it so many different ways mm-hmm. for so long. So where, where you finding that? Production? Production could be one. Production is a good form of inspiration. I think, I th- you know why I think it is though? I think it's because I did the self-defining album and I didn't do it first. I love that album. Yeah, album. and it was just like it was like so. Album. By the time I I did that book of Ryan, mm-hmm. I felt like I just said everything that I want needed to say. Mm-hmm. So now it's just like I don't ever want to feel like I'm just rapping just to be rapping. Just to be rapping. You ever, you ever see a point where you can see yourself retiring? Retiring, no. retiring in the sense of putting out projects and something like that. Yeah, Royce got artists. Royce got a studio. Royce. I don't. I'm saying for himself. Well, yeah, retiring. I don't ever, ever want to. Yeah, I don't ever want to like gracefully bow out and just go away. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to do that. I always want to contribute, be able to contribute. So my thing about transitioning from raps to whatever else is going to be, mm-hmm. it's going to be whenever I feel like that whatever else is going to be is can be more beneficial and valuable to the culture than what my music could be as a contribution. Is there mm-hmm. another genre of music that you might be interested in, you know, performing? That's a... Great question. I'm just because right now what you're saying is making me think of Andre 3000. Yeah, you know, yeah. and how he it's was exactly just like, like I don't, I'm not in a space where I want to rap anymore. I'm putting out a fucking flute album because that's where yeah. I am mentally. Listen to it or don't. I understand. Yeah, exactly. That. I understand that completely, completely. I, the last few times I recorded, I've been singing more. Mm. Yeah, it, that's been bringing me more fulfillment. I like just sometimes just recording some shit where I'm singing and just never let nobody hear it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I can totally get where he's at. Like, he said something that really resonated with me. It was like, yo, I would love to give people just an all-rap album right now, but it's just not, it's not happening. Sometimes you just go in there, and the creativity just takes you in Somewhere another else. direction. Mm-hmm. 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 You'll be a fool not to follow it. Yeah. Gotta mm-hmm. embrace it, yo. Because mm-hmm. I believe that's where the pivot where he did Hey Ya, I believe that's what that was. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think it was any, like, intentional, I'm just about to be... 
different from my different, partner. Different. You know what yeah. I mean? Right, right. He's just doing, you know, he went where it took him against the better judgment of probably everybody around him. Outcast wasn't on that Nelly list. You had to deal with Hey Ya. Woo. Man, Bro. that Nelly list is a Oh, God. I still have nightmares. That's like one of the first songs that I didn't want to like that I just couldn't help. Same. I couldn't help. Hey, I, I hated didn't want to like it. Yeah, at first it, Back it, then. Yeah. Mm -mm. Dog, I was at BET. I was at BET in the back, big dressing room, about to do 106 in park in some bullshit clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I was back there with a bullshit team. We was on total bullshit. But they had a TV on where you could watch the, to watch the show. As you back there, failing. <laughs> <laughs> man, they cut that TV on, nigga said. Yo, we have the new joint of the day, Andre Three Stacks. This one is called Hey Ike. Money. No, I was back there, I said, yo, we could pack this up. <laughs> we, we could leave if, if that's what's going on. Don't try to send me out there in this corduroy shirt after he did that. Remember when we had to go on after Kanye? I do remember that. I bet you fucking do. Still I nightmares do. about that. I'm still mad at him about that. Yeah, you fucking should be. Me too. I'm mad at Big Sean too. Wait, what he had to do? Thanks that? for reminding me. What Big Sean did with that? He the one who brought him out. He was on stage. Holy safe. fucking Big Sean. Why would he do that? Oh, that was you. <laughs> he was trying to show your ass. <laughs> nah, he was trying to show your ass. Something. It could have been. It was yeah. you back then. Some Detroit shit. Yeah, that had nothing to do with me. Well, he fucking showed me, I'll tell you Nigga, that. Nigga, bitch. <laughs> it worked. Big Sean was up in South by Southwest. Slaughterhouse was closing this. Why? <laughs> Why? Because we, we were hot. Nigga, I don't care. We ain't Big Sean and Kanye hot. Well, we didn't know. Man, we back there doing our little slaughterhouse chants. All right, y'all, we about to get it. All, all, all the hands in the middle. All the hands in the middle. Ready? On three. Slaughter. One, two. Man, that's fun to say. La, ass, ass. La, la, la. <laughs> Wait till I get my money right. <laughs> Stop. Whoa, I had a dream. That girl said, I said, give me my fucking hand out of there. Give me my hand, you niggas. I ain't fucking with y'all. Y'all crazy as hell. You put on a good show, though. You left out one part. Oh, tell me. I don't remember it. If this motherfucker bring Kanye up, I'm walking away. Oh, God. I'm walking out of here. I was like, no, he ain't about to bring Ye up. <laughs> la, 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 la. That's just Wait a, till that's I get instrumental. <laughs> and then look, the crowd went so crazy and they were so loud that the nigga couldn't, you couldn't even hear his first line. <laughs> they was just saying it. Like half the crowd was saying That's the words crazy. and the other half was saying the oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like, a, it was like <laughs> a multi layered like a choir. Niggas had a choir outside of some audio Kirk, before uh, yes, before Atmos. Yeah, he had some Kirk Franklin shit going on there. <laughs> By the time we went up there, it ain't look like the same crowd. I was tight. So all uh, niggas know I get it in on that microphone. Hey, nigga, I see you leaving. <laughs> I, I'm looking at you leave. Come back. Show me no. We promise. It's like going into a, it's, like, it's like going into a restaurant in, with, around a bunch of like oh, full people, people who just all ate like tomahawk steaks and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. They were like, yeah, we don't want any more food. <clears throat> That's crazy. As Slaughterhouse. A, as an artist, you remember all them times. You just remember those times that you was up against and lost, but you did it. You got to do it. Yeah, yeah that, sure. that whole bringing people out on your set thing was like a that was like a real thing. In I know, because management kept trying to get us to have friends. I'm like, yo, dog, that's not what this group is. That's not what this group is made of. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Y'all brought MC Hammer out? We brought Hammer out. No, no, we didn't. Did wait, we did? why you look at me like that? We so brought Hammer out to do what? Wait, wait. Because <laughs> I know a lot of this was no. racist. A lot of this was racist doing. Like what? <laughs> this nigga said, we brought Hammer out. Because Royce is flying Where with. Where were you? <laughs> South by Southwest. <laughs> when y'all brought Hammer out? Hammer is, Hammer, my is. Hammer is my boxing For buddy. Hammer dance. We were talking about boxing. Hammer is Royce's man, man. Now, mind you, Hammer was already about to knock me out a few years ago. I, I remember. So, <laughs> every, nice. like a dodo, stupid <laughs> ass <laughs> Joe Button. <laughs> stupid he beat that up. Fucking dumbass Joe Button. Just run his fucking mouth about nothing. But Sorry. anyway, but Royce was always, you know, when I do this, he's this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, he fly with every nigga that want to punch me in the face. <laughs> So now he got to, he talking to him. I'm just standing outside. Oh, God. Man, what the, come on. I, I got to stay. It's, not in, it's never intentional. It's just I, you never know who wants to punch this man that's in the face. That's true. Oh, they know. They, they, no, they, no, 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 no. We, we know. know. 
No, we don't know. We know. I sit there and talk to somebody for like an hour, and then they just conveniently tell me, oh, yeah, yeah I want to kill him. You know I don't fuck with your man, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, he better not walk oh, over Oh, nah, with me, like, it go the other way around. That's the first thing niggas say. Out no, you know I don't fuck with your man, right? <laughs> yeah, but okay. I want to you know? let work. I've gotten better, though. You have. I've gotten you better. You have. I'm proud of you. I have gotten better. I try not to do that stuff I did. Mm-hmm. I try not to. I have new mistakes. The only thing I don't, the only part that I don't like about it is niggas act like you can't fight. I don't like that part. Oh, so now when I'm out. Like you scared to shoot your fade. Mm. Now you did good one I, night. I think the word has been around New York about. I, I do think that. Maybe I'm a narcissist. To the, to I like the people okay. that need to know. The, the, yeah. the, need, the people that need to know in New yeah, York. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. I think they know. Everybody else was like, hey, what you want me to do? Go ahead and steal though. Go ahead and steal. Yeah, I almost knocked the nigga out in Bird Off the other day. <laughs> what? Damn. <laughs> in Bird Off? I almost knocked the hold nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Almost on the wall to wall carpeting? I almost knocked the nigga smooth out in Bird Off the other day. Can you tell us why? Can I tell you why? Quick, quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did he there work There was that? a shirt in there. I want this one. Mm-hmm. Now was it? So, now, so now was it just one? So you, you got it. Listen, listen. That's that telling. One. So you won because he, got he has the shirt. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He won because <laughs> it could be different. The guy could have the shirt. The guy exactly. Got the shirt. So this is we off to a good start. So I wanted this shirt. I had seen it in there earlier in the week. So I figure I catch them when they open at 11 when it's empty. Running there to get my shirt. I had shit to do. Busy day, right? I walk in there at 11 a.m. Nobody's in bird over me, mm-hmm. and the working nigga. Man, I walk in there. Oh, I'm about to sound bad. Don't judge me. You could spot a nigga that ain't supposed to be in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, hey, Marcus. Yeah. This nigga was not supposed to be in there. <laughs> and then I got to walk straight in and hit the elevator button. And the Bergdorf elevator is slow. Mm-hmm. So I'm standing there. Here he come. He turned around. I got spotted a mile away. And he said, you Joe Button?" And I said, yeah. And he said, what happened with that shit uptown? And I said, excuse me? I ought to put my foot back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to put that foot back, square the body. He said, uptown with the, with the Airbnb. You ain't, that wasn't you. Airbnb? Hmm? I said, excuse me. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. And he said, yeah, the internet is saying that was you. I'm in Bergdorf. This is the scent section. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's what we're right in front of the elevator. Yeah. Right in front, front of the elevator. It's the fucking, the good cologne. Yeah, the good shit. He doing, the glass he case shit. Yes, he doing this in front of the Creed section. Mm. <laughs> but cool. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all, y'all from where I'm from. Y'all could guess how this goes. Mm-hmm. The elevator opens. I walk in the elevator. He can't he right, right in there with you. And this doofy nigga walks right in the elevator. And says, yeah, uptown, they saying you had something to do with that. And I said, all right, who the fuck are you while we in here? He said, no, nah, I'm just reminded her because it's a court case coming up. And uh, yeah, he's just talking, and then the elevator door is open. And I said, yo, you should get the fuck away from me. And I left. And I got my shirt, and I went downstairs. And then he was across the street loitering in front of the Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, That hey, easy. That easy. Thank God. Thank God you ain't had to go in there and get a charger. He'd have went in there too. <laughs> <laughs> Another place yeah, he ain't belong. Yeah. That's a better place to fight than the yeah. bird dog. I heard uh, my MacBook <laughs> fucked up. And they go to bed. <laughs> but that's backed up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's back to our, uh, our fucking Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Point. Wait, what, what right. fuck was he talking about? I still don't know, Riz. I don't know. I don't know. What you did with the Airbnb, man? I have not, not only have I, outside of Slaughterhouse and... Yeah. I've never I've stayed never in, the Airbnb. in the Airbnb. Either. I've never booked an Airbnb. You ain't never been in one with Slaughterhouse, nigga. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been in no damn yeah, Airbnb. I never, I've never been in no, I never did that Airbnb. So I don't know, I don't know what he's talking about. But that wasn't my concern. My thing was just like, am I gonna have to do this at 11 a.m.? God, just my luck. God throws shit in my face. Nigga, fight at 11. <laughs> I, I just, fight in the morning. I just don't want the nigga to have no polka in the elevator with me. That's all. Can't move around in the elevator. No, that, that's, where I, that's, that's, where I, that's where I want you to have it. Nah. In that in that confined I might be more confined. I might be more confined space. area, nigga. Can't get no I'm about to, we right You here. said a yeah. poker? 
Yeah, yeah knife. That's some New York shit right there, boy. Well, that's some ish shit. The poker. Y'all niggas worried about a knife in the street? Yeah. <laughs> in the elevator? Nah. No, he's right. He's nigga, right, though. Nah, nah. That's he's amazing. Right. He's right. Nah, no so that's we amazing. blessed. We blessed. Y'all blessed. <laughs> <laughs> we worried about a knife. Uh, I probably would have got confronted by a rifle yielding. Yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> niggas who wear boxer shorts. Yeah. <laughs> My worst nightmare now is getting confronted by that nigga I seen on on TikTok with the gun belt that was just practicing. <laughs> oh, the fat, the, you saying him? He's fast. Isn't that dog? Ain't nothing you can do. That kind of vote would have been way different, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Airbnb? Hey, I don't know what you're talking about, but no, I apologize. No, bro, what? That's what? my fault. Yeah, like, Whatever it is, right. I'm Let me make it right. <laughs> yeah, Airbnb, I didn't mean it. Airbnb on the phone, man. Call him yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's trade this out right Let's now. Let's squash this, man. It's stupid. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, my God. All of Airbnb people, man. Uh, all right, so I'm getting prime. You got a fucking Pistons partnership. Word. We might, Salute. We might get BME. Yeah, I was the art, I'm the art director of the designs. That's fine. I don't know no dance. You hear me? No north, north nah, of nah, 2004. Nah. Hit the Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the Shannon. Fuck that shit. No, nah, that's some. That's that's. I'm fly. bringing back a little. That's dope as hell, yo. Yeah. But fly. speak to me. You know what I've noticed though about the Pistons and, and shout out to Detroit always. The Pistons seem to be a trying to do cultural things. Yeah, yeah, they mm-hmm. do seem like that. Mm-hmm. They do. Joe Dumar still the president? That's my man AJ. Who? That's good. Who? Joe Dumar. No used to be way. The no, no. He's, he's with, gone. He's with the league. I haven't seen Joe D. No, Joe works for the league. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I, I spoke to him recently. He works for the league. I told yeah. him I need my playoff tickets. We we doing everything right, but but winning games. But we get we getting there. They building a the roster. They got some nice young niggas. We on yeah. the come up. Wait, oh way shit. to go. Oh shit. And let me play this Detroit shit I bought the other day. Detroit is slowly creeping into one of them cities where I don't got to know who the nigga is rapping. Y'all got like a sound. I've been not, saying not, this nah, forever. Nah, sure. where my Detroit nigga at that I fucking bought? This shit is hard, whoever this nigga is. Boss Man D-Lo? Oh, Boss Man D-Lo, yeah. Yo, when this- <laughs> It's a necessary ignorance. This is crazy. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. I'm going to see you three more. That's when that come on. That come on up here. What does that mean? Necessary What's ignorance. That? Um, oh, you know, like as a man, you try to <laughs> try to evolve. Evolve. Uh-huh. No, but you still have you to leave that. room. Yeah. Leave room for a little bit of oh. just a little bit of. It's like a guilty pleasure, I guess. Mm. Mm. Okay. But it's a necessary ignorance. Got it. Because you know we can put it in, into perspective. It's not going to motivate me to go do some dumb exactly. shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. Every now and then, I like to just do ratchet <laughs> shit with my friends. Mm. All by myself. I just want to hear, some, just wanna wanna hear, hear some real ignorant shit. Got it. Now y'all understand. A lot of times, these niggas talk. Are- no, but you do it all day. You do Nigga, it all day. You don't have you a to it all day. Y'all understand you don't what have I've been balance. trying to tell y'all. Tell them, Ice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> tell them, Big Breeze. Yeah. But I prefer, I prefer my ratchet shit be a little more age appropriate. I don't listen to 20 year olds being ratchet. Nah, 25. <laughs> That's nigga ignorant, yo. <laughs> you can't even talk to them. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to be nowhere near them. I Somebody need it. to talk to you. I don't want to talk to them niggas. I don't want to have a conversation. I just want the music. Stay over there. What does the music do for you? Is Nothing. that, is that like all you listen to all day? Is no, that kind of music? No. no. You got like a balance? Yes, I do. Have you found a balance? I have a balance. What's the balance? balance? I listen to mad shit, bro. I'm listening to... R, I, you know, I'm Chris nigga, R&B, certain he, acts. He punching niggas too, but. <laughs> but well, the R&B niggas fight more than the rappers. Oh, you listen so. to gospel music? No. Oh. No. no. <laughs> I'm a heathen. So, so much for the battle. You a heathen? Yeah, I'm a heathen. A he- self-admitted? Yeah. Heathenism. Meek Mill. That's a good first step, though. <laughs> you got to know who you are. Mm-hmm. Acceptance. Yeah, 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 you gotta oh, know who you are. Man, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? People in, den- in denial out here. Right. in denial. <laughs> Is Meek here? Did he go to Africa yet? <laughs> <laughs> Meek said he got it, yeah. Dual citizenship. I ain't mad at him, Meek. My brother just came from Africa. I don't know what part. He said it was mad white, white Africans out there. Well, I, I got to find, like find out. Was he in South Africa? I got to find out. He was in I South Africa. That makes sense. You haven't been yet? No. I want to. Anybody been? Yeah, I want mm-hmm. to. You yeah. have? I want to. It's time. For, it's time. What part? A- Akon extended the wow. invite. He did. I don't, don't want to yeah, go. No, man. You don't want to go to. Every, <laughs> so, every year, niggas is going to Ghana. Ghana about to be the LA of, or the New York of Africa. It's up over there. 
Yeah. Once Keno get up on it, that's it. It's, gonna, it's, <laughs> it's, it's no longer sure. Wakanda. It's, it's not it no more. No, it's. Crazy. I can see a day where I ain't living here no more. Yeah, it's yeah, living in the U.S. A thousand percent easily too. Oh yeah, not me. Does the Amex work? I got some land. Y- yes, yeah. it works. What? Right, you, you bought some land over there? No, I got land in Portugal. In Look. Portugal? Mm-hmm. But no. Why Portugal? And what's your name across social? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Portugal? Why Portugal? Put me up on something. My girl Portuguese, but Portuguese, uh, the, 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 the cost of living, 80% of Wait what it is here. Wait a minute. Yeah, I miss you. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> But you know that because your wifey? All right. Nah, I just know it from being in the real estate game, but the mm. cost of living over there is 80% cheaper than what it is here. So, man, United States niggas is going there. Even some of our friends, they bought shit in um, Mexico, Costa Rica, like niggas that been on the pod. Yeah, they, name some other places. What's another spot? <clears throat> Thailand. 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 Niggas is going to Bali. Niggas is going to Nigeria. <laughs> niggas is going to um, Costa Rica. A lot of people Panama. going to Costa Rica. You got Latin in Thailand? I so, do not. Someone told me about Manila, too. You Philippines? Yeah. Th- Thailand's on, yeah. That's where I want. We went there, right? Didn't we go there? Which, where did we go when the promoter was like a kick a kickboxer? He was a fighter? Yo, these niggas had us performing. And- <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Y'all was in the chicken nah. coop? The <laughs> fuck <laughs> niggas talking about? The niggas doing Mai Tai you know, while kick, y'all performing? Yeah, kickboxing is like the Mai yeah, Tai. Yeah, yeah, that real shit big is out real. There. What? Yeah, they didn't appreciate the bars with where they had us. <laughs> they, 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 niggas out there kicking the cane while they listening to y'all. This is like before advanced analytics came. <laughs> before people could look and see where they should go. Well, maybe we should just try and shit out. was just looking at a map like, there! It was like the Street Fighter. <laughs> the Street <laughs> Fighter map. <laughs> Thailand! <laughs> Dowsim! <Yeah>. Sadagat! <laughs> they was playing us, boy. That's funny, son. They was That's playing. Funny. Yo, you got 30 minutes, man. You got to get to the venue. Yo, who who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is hungry, fam. Yo, you 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 feeling BMF? Mm-hmm. I am. BM, 50, 50, yo. 50 is the GOAT. Yo, 50 doing this thing with BMF, though. And again, I don't, I'm asking y'all because y'all natives, mm-hmm. so I don't really know the story and how accurate or, or dead on the depiction is. I don't look at it like that. You don't? Mm-mm. How? How do you take because it's way away Because it? it's way before my time. Mm. True. And it's no. Southwest. Southwest. It's different. Southwest is another Ken, world. Keno told me that. Mm-hmm. Keno told they, me that. We'll be talking about the '80s, early '80s. How old are you? I'm 46. Yeah, I think it's mid '80s. Mid '80s. Mid '80s. Mid '80s. Way before my time. I was born in '77. Mm. I was born in '70. Well, I guess. Yeah, nigga forgot the '70s. <laughs> nah, I was born in '76. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in '76, yo. But no, nah, but you know, my cousin. Yeah, you're not gonna be in tune with all so that. So you ain't right. over. Nah, my cousin was knee deep in that shit. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> out, he know. way older than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> the OG he said he was born in '77. Yeah, it's a year later. Yeah. It's a long time. <laughs> long, <laughs> long, long year. A long time. And it looked different. You know what I mean, out here, you like a New Jersey for me. <laughs> like, you be I don't want to be. Yeah, you be hating, yo. That's all right, dog. How you put dog years on his age because away from me? <laughs> it's like a different. Nigga, I was outside with him before the wrinkles. So I ain't going to hate on them. <laughs> yo. I had to deal with this nigga in the, in the skates. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Niggas an idiot. So. He had to do it with you and whip. In the roller skates. Like, that used to be his thing. He used to go everywhere on roller skates That's with his dope. eyes and don't his good skin. Yo, don't and he had waves. Yo, he had no waves. Nigga, he the light skin nigga with waves two roller skate and nice eyes that come around. Uh, now I can't even go back. Long walks on the water. <laughs> yeah, I had to deal with all that. That definitely was my bag. Yeah, come on. Not no skates. I remember the first time I met you, you were picking me up for something. I was 100 pounds lighter. And you had him in the car? Mm-hmm. And you were notorious for not introducing people. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was so I just kind of was like sitting there listening to y'all kind of like go back and forth. Arguing. Being extremely competitive about women. Nothing has changed. Really? No, Nothing has changed. <laughs> Wait, for real? Big I'm, gla- I'm glad. I'm glad he came up here and said it. I don't even remember, but I'm sure it sounds true. Yeah. I'm like, Who does That's all get? I did with this dumbass nigga, man. <laughs> it what? It's me, though. What's that? It's me though. Don't look at ice. That's yeah, not our relationship. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, you, I'm gonna start calling you out. You better stop. You yo, I'm should. telling you. I'm gonna start he calling. said it. <laughs> yeah, but you said, yo, that's all I do with this nigga. You the one that initiates that. Yo, we're in the club one time. This is a true story. Oh, you story. got a story to support this his thinking. It's a true story. We're in the club. You got a story to support go, his thinking. Go, go. This nigga said, go. yo, man. <laughs> go. Hate hanging out with you, yo. It's my man. I'm like, what? <laughs> what you talking about? This nigga said, yo, man. 
when, when I'm with everybody else, I know who the bitches is looking at. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm with you, I ain't sure. <laughs> Yo, oh, Joe, ain't never said Joe. that. I swear to I God. I totally believe bro. he said that. You said that shit? I swear to God. I don't remember, you but I mean, I ain't that? mad at, yeah. I'm not mad at that. I believe he Did said that. Did you say that? If you I say that, that shit, if I, I say that, it's satire with my man. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nigga meant that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> a little ounce of truth in there. <laughs> oh, I mean, some people was outside. Just a little razzle dazzle. Nigga. Number one. Yo, stop acting like y'all don't know this nigga. Yo, did you say that? You know he said it. Fam, you can. I know he said it. Thank you, Mel. You just got here two yeah. months ago. <laughs> and I, the niggas that know you right, for posh posh digits can't even. You can misappropriate these airwaves as much as you want. <laughs> Something oh. told me that whatever story you just remembered wasn't gonna paint me in the dopest of lights. <laughs> you don't have no stories that. You have no stories where I killed. <laughs> yeah, I got stories where you will literally. You got any of those? Yeah, where you will literally bring them over to me and be like, "Yo, this is my man." Ba 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 ba. Nice to meet you. Oh, like Shy Brother. I said stories where I killed. That was in that. He was Shy Brother. You was Shy Brother? Yeah, all the time. And he will bring him right. Look. And he was JT? John what? Stockton. Grimy ass yeah, JT. Yeah, but he'll do some JT shit too. <laughs> he'll do some JT shit too. But, but he shoot about 75% from the field, but he it's a little 25% of JT in there. You tell mm. horrible stories about, about uh, that, friendship, art history. I just gave you bad props. Oh. You did. Do you, oh. you got some? You got something that don't involve you? Yeah, <laughs> I asked for something that paid me in a dope life. He said, "Yeah, he used to bring." That it was to fire. Me. He used to bring. I agree with you. What you mean? No, I agree with you. But something that don't—that's something that you witnessed him do that was fire that had nothing to do in reflection to you. No, Royce was talking about our competitiveness. I, I know, mean, but we talking about what Amani and me is talking about to you. <laughs> in life? Yeah. Yeah, man, shit. Yeah, of course. Okay. That's all I get. Say they can get to generalize them. No, no specifics. Yo, magic. No specifics. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do. You could. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like I need to know how you feel about all of these label layoffs. I feel like I need to know how you feel about, it sounds generic, but the state of the rap game in general, the state of rappers in general. Is it? Is this a, is this a, Speak to the competitive nature or lack thereof. Just tell me what you see when you look out into the landscape. Mm. Um, I haven't taken a real deep look out into the landscape, but from where I'm sitting, it looks like J. Cole is the only one being competitive. Mm. He's the only one who's rapping with the con kind of conviction that says, you know, like I still value the number one this. spot as a lyricist. Mm -hmm. yep. I see where a lot of Especially the younger the generations get, I see a lot of them not really hanging their hat on just the lyrical part of creativity at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're finding different ways to 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 impact they and, they and, to, and to resonate with people. Like you know what I mean, which is fire. Yeah, that's fly. You know what I mean. Fly. That that's when the elder statesmen like myself start trying to learn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I want to make myself understand mm -hmm. like why is this touching people like that I can't even understand what they're saying you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I think it's cool I think it's evolving I think it's moving forward it's definitely moving away from lyricism being the caveat which I'm cool with because it's a lot more things that I can do besides be just like a you know lyrical yeah. lyrical, lyrical people can't walk and chew gum at the same time so it's like when you can when they feel like you can do one thing well they kind of put you, put you in that box. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. It's cool that it's evolving into a space where you have no choice but to kind of look and see if there's other layers here. You know what I mean? So that's cool. So I'm still inspired to make music in that, in that regard. Uh, what was the other question? Uh, no, I think that was it. Just the landscape. The label, the label fire. Oh, the label. The label. Oh, the label. Oh, that was part of the landscape. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, but what you told me about no, no, no. That one label, no. yeah, what you told me last night, that was my first time even hearing that. Okay, yeah, don't say Like, that. I had no idea. Ooh, you know I wasn't about to do that. Yeah, yeah, so I'm way too seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, no. I don't drink no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I, but mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's scary. I got a lot of friends that work at labels. I mean, you know, it's a small, it's a small community. Mm -hmm. Everybody know everybody. So, I'm just always happy to, to see my people get jobs or see people who along my journeys were at a certain level and to watch them elevate, mm -hmm. knowing that you've known them from the beginning, that's always fulfilling, you know what I mean? So that's cool, but, but other than just analyzing relationships and saluting people, 
I really don't know much about the inner workings of labels. Yeah. Because yeah. it changes so much, you know? I was listening to Rob Markman, shout out to Rob, speak about uh, the industry layoffs. And he said he's been speaking to a lot of people in the, in the industry and, and the number one thing in his opinion from his survey that we lose, that artists lose, is that person at the label that's going to get them to understand your vision. The translator. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people might not know just how deep that is. You mean get the label to understand the artist's yes. vision? Mm -hmm. gotcha. And vice versa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Translation and, and goes both versa. ways. Yeah, yeah, it's very gotcha. important. It's very important. So with people losing that thing, I know there's a lot of artists out there that are just trying to find their way. Like, that's really important in, in music. Yeah. You, you know who those people usually were? People who have made records before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The LA reads, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So like, but look at how much you got to pay those kind of people. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's like once you take away the equalizer, then you create a even wider margin of just disconnect and communication. And what I'm seeing from afar, the labels don't seem to. Well, I'm not going to generalize and say the labels, but a lot of people that work at the labels don't seem to care about that disconnect. Yeah, because the money's still coming. Yeah, they not. Well, what they what they what they use to justify it is metrics. Yeah, it's a numbers mm -hmm. thing. It's all about the metrics. It's, it's not humans. About, it's numbers. The niggas always talk like that at labels. You know what I mean? Even back in the day, they always use that as an excuse to why they're not taking steps and being intentional about actually developing artists. Mm -hmm. I know you said your son, your son is now showing. He wants to create. Are you having these conversations with him just to prep him for the changes that's going to come with the business now yeah. trying to? Long ago. Long ago. My son was, it's a, it's a club called the L Club in Detroit. Holds like two, three hundred kids. Mm -hmm. Like he sold that spot out in the, in, when he was in, a junior in high school. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bunch of kids in there singing his shit word for word. Songs I haven't Fire. even heard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's, he's had his thumb He's had his finger on the pulse of just that in general for a long time. So he's very, very seasoned, way well beyond his years. Mm. So me and him, we got an agreement. And that's just this. Don't ever sign your name on anything without me putting my eyes on it first. That's my that's agreement it. with my son. That's it. Other that, than that, that's the only I'll stay out of your way unless you need me or if, unless I see you doing something so bad where I got to step in. Mm. You know what I mean? So... People been offering him deals, all of these mm. new hybrid production manager yeah. deals. Because these kids will go to college and just hear their homeboys saying some shit, sign to them. They'll go to a studio. Hey, you can get all the studio time in the world, all the beats you need. For free. Like, yeah, it's like I'm talking to my son about some of this shit. I'm like, yo, dog, let me repeat some of this stuff back to you and let me tell you what I think about it. Mm. But that's my only rule is yeah. don't sign nothing without me knowing. Because mm. patience is the only thing that they, you can... You can bet your bottom dollar they're not going to have patience. Facts. Mm -hmm. That's just not a part of being a young, mm -hmm. hungry, you know what I mean? Like somebody who's in the thrill of the chase, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, And I think that goes even outside the music business. We're just living in a microwave society where these kids seeing... Um, Instant gratification. They seeing Bentleys on Instagram and they seeing... Uh, Thailand mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Like the little girls When we was little My nigga You went to Virginia Beach For the spring break You was popping Okanos. Now the 20 year old girls Is in fucking Mykonos And Santorini In Dubai So that's putting pressure On these young boys And they got talking points My son told me They got I talking quote, points And I quote Yeah cause I just wanna I just wanna blow up You know what I mean Buy mom this And buy mom that And I'm looking at them like Nigga <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about? <laughs> you talking about my wife? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> my wife don't need you. She's straight. She don't need that. She's straight. I, I did that, nigga. Buy yourself something nice. You acting like we poor or something. I <laughs> 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 mom's out the hood. Yo, yeah. so, it's, so it's just like, yo, che yeah, yeah, like, and cheer what, up about what, it too, man. Like, What piss? What you talking? Yo, stop <laughs> Stop reading the rapper handbook. You can't, want it. You, can't want it. you can't want it for the wrong reasons. You know, mm -hmm. the, the universe is going to respond to that. You know what I mean? True, you got to want it for the right reasons. True. You know, no, Well, yet. you married and you like did it the right way, so your answer makes sense. But to niggas that didn't, it's like when they get in here, I'm by my time. It's like, hey, you better. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you better take care of your you mama. Better, you better do. I love mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love mine. You better love yours. Yo. Come on, somebody got it. Yo, you All right, forget it. Yo, forget it. idiot. Go ahead. Yeah. You was asking about Courtney. You asked about Courtney, Courtney Bell? 
he's in Love Detroit. Courtney. He's in Detroit. Yeah. Shout out my my, my young bro. He's in Detroit too. doing his thing. Mm. Signed to Monarch. Our executive producer's album. Great album. Yo, dog. One beat that y'all did played. I feel like you was fucking with which me. Which time? Which time? You was fucking with me on purpose. I know it was. When? Nigga, you showed a clip of you letting him hear this beat for the first time. I felt like you was fucking with me. And you played a beat that I think you did that sound like something from the Slaughterhouse old days. And then y'all rapped on it. You did the hook, and then he did everything else. And I said, oh, my God. God. Was that the last record y'all put out? God, just put out? Not, yes. It's yeah. a video for it. The video for oh, yeah. Westside. Thank Westside. God I'm not talking to Royce. I don't want to hear none of this shit. You produced you produce that. No, Alchemist. Okay, Alchemist, Alchemist produced that. Yeah, the yeah you can't. Yeah, come on, thank God. I played I played one of them. <laughs> I played one of them. I played one of them. I played yeah, one. yeah, you played West Side. Yeah, played West Side. Yeah. Courtney, his album is crazy. Especially the beats I gave him. No. Nah, that Yeah, he's 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 special, man. No, nah, like special. He like, is. That beat was special. absolutely insane. And it, and it seems like the marketplace is opening up a little bit more for his his kind of Style. MC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's moving a little bit. Of, I think I think the average person is a little bit tired of the killing and slanging and banging. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You want to hear something different. Just something else. We'll, we'll we never abandon it. Yeah. Ice will never abandon it completely. I get tired of it. I don't I, just ice. listen to that, though. You I get think, tired of you it? You know what I'm saying? I listen to it, but I still, you, you just, like you said, you just need to mix a little something else. I don't with, think it would be as bad. I'm never going to abandon it. It wouldn't be, be as bad if so many people were not actually dying. See, in our day. Word. That's mm. real. That's real. In our day. <laughs> no, that's real. That's people weren't actually dying. You know what I mean? It was just like, you have words on records. You know, you'll feel a way about somebody, but. Shooting people in the face with choppers over over rap lyrics is crazy. And, and, yeah. and y'all around long kid. enough to see those same people at some point piece it up to really know, like, we'll, yeah, it may be, it may be a yeah, little we, tension. We come from that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we come from They don't come from that. Dog, these little niggas, I'm t yo, these I little won't. niggas be mm -hmm. having guns. It's the one dude I showed me, but he was older. Oh, this nigga pointed was, them out to you? This nigga was shooting a 50 mm -hmm. cow with a switch on it. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah 50 cow what? I, I, it was a Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle. Nah. Yes, it, bro. Bruh, Ice got oh, the video. Oh, you, you talking about the one with the little handle yeah. on it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. My the man make was, those. The nigga was shooting the shit. The nigga, <laughs> he was like this. No, it wasn't that long. And some things have never changed. Yeah, my man, yeah, my hey, man. My, my man, man fabricate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get them all day long. I'm getting <laughs> one. I'm getting one. I believe As soon as I can upgrade my gun license to be able to buy fully automatic, I'm getting one of those for sure. Bro, the dude had a 50 cal. They're not illegal. Okay, but Once why? Once you put the little handle on them, hmm? well, what do you go? What do you want to do with for two, it? For two reasons, I want to just go to the gun range. Okay. Because Desert Eagles. Tell a are second like, reason. Tell a second reason. <laughs> Desert Eagles are are used to be my favorite gun to mm -hmm. rap about because mm -hmm. it's so big and yeah. intimidating. Shits look dope. They but if you ever fine. shoot one, you're not gonna like it because it's just too it's too much the too kick, much kickback. Kick it's crazy. It's too heavy. They don't shoot good worth shit. You're not going to hit nothing. You're just going to make a bunch of noise. That's why they put a the switch on it now. Yes. So, so if you put a switch on it and a little handle, mm -hmm. the handle, and then the whole clip becomes fully automatic, once you make an extended clip, then you having fun at the gun range. <laughs> What you when you leave them like that, shoot shoot shit. shooting at rah rah on them. <laughs> no, no, don't shoot at nobody. Okay, so That's wait, what they going to do. You said the hey, second, there was two reasons. What's the second? Mm, so I can have fun at the gun range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun at the gun range. Gun range because of my because of my love over the years for the Desert Eagle um, collection, like in a collectors. figurative sense. Yeah. But once I got my hands on one and was able to shoot it, I hate it. It's like my least favorite gun to shoot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm a gun guy. Yeah. So once you put like a little handle on it and, and make it fully automatic, now you can have fun at the now gun I can range. Control it better. So that's a, he still no. I didn't say control. Control that shit. Don't say nothing about aiming. Yeah. 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 Ain't no control in that thing. No, you can't control it. Whoa. Nigga had to switch. That shit was like that shit was one time. <laughs> Done. And that's what they shooting up the stores with. <laughs> Ryan dude the, in the a stores? car in a car like that. He ain't just going anywhere. Like that shit is crazy, and, and they get it from the rap. So yeah. It's different. They getting, they, you said they're getting it from the rap? They're getting <laughs> inf influenced by mm. the rappers more mm. than we did. And everything else in the world. Yeah, you don't think it's the other way around? <laughs> no, some of these little niggas is living that shit. Some oh, of these no, I'm saying you don't, think, you don't think that the environments are in influencing the raps? Of course, a thousand percent. I, I, think it, I think it's a marriage. I think it goes hand to hand. I think we've always had violence in our communities. That's mm -hmm. nothing new. Mm -hmm. Right? So when NWA came out, all they was doing is giving you a fucking encyclopedia on what was going on in our communities. Mm -hmm. I think now 
is being glorified a little more. Like these little niggas is rapping about who they killed, really giving the testimonies on who they killed, standing on niggas' grave sites and shit doing their videos. That wasn't heard of in our neighborhood. I blame the internet for that. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I blame I the internet. I don't, I don't blame the I agree music. with that. I agree with I, that. I, I blame the vehicle true. In, which, I agree with that. in which you can put the music out. That's true. I and how many people you can offend using that vehicle. That. The cloud. It's cloud. Accessibility is cloud. cloud. I agree yeah. with that. It's like warfare. I agree. That's because now it's more visible. Aha, nigga, fuck yeah. you. Niggas mm -hmm. putting the score up on the album covers. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, you, you're right. There's a little white girl on TikTok that's running around at nighttime to people's graves and that's cleaning like, them. Cleaning oh, the graves off. They what? Gee, There's a white it? girl on TikTok that goes to somebody's grave late at night and cleans it off, like really scrubs it, soaks deep it clean. down, yeah. deep cleans the tombstone. That's nice. Of her. Why is she yes. doing that? For TikTok clout. clout. For clout. clout. You just said, why, do every, why do they do anything today? Well, and she might have a good heart. Let me not do that. Yeah, I think it's mm -hmm. a, a it's, kind a, it's a good heart. Still clout. Thing, still clout. It's, it's a clout. Because you had the good she heart. You got the good heart. She needs to have a good brain. You cut the TV off. Yeah, it's if, if, it's, a, if it's just thing. a heart thing, you don't have to record. I mean, but we do we say the same thing when people go give out food to the yes. homeless and record? Yes, it's not the same so, thing. Yes, yes. I do. don't say the same yes. thing. It's I not do. the same I thing. I say the same thing. I say the same. Okay. I say if it's from the heart, you don't have to record it. Yeah, period. I say that all. Yeah, time. but that's not a good comparison. Why not? Why? She's cleaning off graves. <laughs> okay, well, as somebody that just left yeah. my family's graveyard, they be needing some cleaning. Little power washing will help. Yeah, but there's a lake right by my family's joint. So if any of us see you, you're probably going to go to the lake. <laughs> you <laughs> probably shouldn't touch none of my family's. Fam, yeah, if, any, if any of us see you, she might have came out the lake. I'm hauling ass. That's some weird But white shit. people sit home and come up with these ideas like, <laughs> And y'all be watching the docs getting inspired. No, I'm hauling ass. I see somebody. I'm watching the docs. Some little white girl cleaning my grandmother's grave. I'm watching it, dog. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this Nickelodeon shit to drop. Yeah. Crazy. I cannot. When it come out this weekend, oh, I think it's, I cannot wait till Daniel Snyder weekend. Nickelodeon shit come out. But I don't want to depress the room. Can I play a snippet from a rapper that, as soon as I heard, I jumped right back on their dick and probably took back everything I said in one of these recent podcasts? Let's go, Cardi. Yeah. That shit is hard. Yo, <laughs> from now on. That's how you drive, yeah. <laughs> what? You play that up? Nigga, play that from now on. Not them little niggas you played the other day that sound like Shiggy. Ish, I know that you and Ice <laughs> didn't like that song, and I know that we we're We don't go to older. strip clubs no more. We're older. That is one of the outside, hottest it's songs outside. in New York. I believe, I believe you. It is one of the hottest I songs in New York. <laughs> it is, but I respect y'all old niggas. Yeah. And your doc is um, the 17th and 18th of March. Ooh. Listen, Cardi. And I'm going to the Nikki concert. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm wearing pink. Just too bold. Listen, now she did this. There's nothing to say. There's nothing what'd you, to say. What did you, you say about her? He said she was afraid to drop. Well, she is afraid to drop. Her She's afraid her to drop her album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's afraid to drop. That's all I said. I love Cardi. I'm a. I'm. I'm. I'm in most of the girl hives. Mm -hmm. Like the girls, I don't fuck with. I just don't fuck with y'all. Y'all know who it is by now. But. The girls I love, I'm in Nikki, I'm in I'm a Barb, I'm Marty in Barty gang. gang, I'm in whatever flow Millie shit is, I'm in Lotto uh, gang. Like mm -hmm. this I wasn't sexy red gang, but this new slap she got is kinda hard, so we gotta see. I'm back. No, no, yeah, the new yeah, song's yeah, kinda I'm hard. I'm new back. song's kinda I'm hard. Definitely back. I I'm against what she stands for, but that new song is hard. Uh I fuck with the girls. I just don't I think rap is over. <laughs> Y'all know what I feel like. This, this know. shit is big glow. Glow, oh my God, Glow! That, yeah, that, Glow. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's the record. That's the record. Congratulations, mm. Glow! Really, uh, uh, I think that record cracked top ten. Mm. Nice, cracked top ten. Billboard, go Glow! But this record here, it's gonna do what it need to do. Card for it, for Cardi B flow better than most of the male rappers. Her flow, her cadence, all that shit be better than most of the male rappers to me. How you feel about that, Ice? I would say I used to say the same about Nicki. But um, you, you say you used to say the same about Nicki. Yeah, that that her flow and the way she wrote a beat, she can ride a beat, fam. But um, to me, yeah, a lot of these niggas can't do that shit today. That offbeat shit kind of got that's, popular. That's, that's, that yeah, that's I don't that like that offbeat shit. You know? I hate. You that's like, why you I like the offbeat. You like the offbeat shit. I only like the offbeat shit from Detroit rappers, but it's a different offbeat. It's offbeat, but on beat. I don't. I never. Y'all the music dudes. I never know how to describe it. It's only Detroit that it just sounds like it's y'all rapping to a totally different beat, but it's still flow. Everybody else, I don't like that shit. That's why I didn't like four four four, because to me he was off beat too much. 
and y'all know how I feel about Jay Z, but I ain't like that album because it just felt like he wasn't on beat. That shit don't sonically sit right when somebody be rapping like that to me. Yeah, I appreciate that. And Royce, you probably want y'all to y'all, y'all more musically inclined than me. I'm just talking about what, as a consumer, what Ho- I hear. Hov wasn't off beat. It's just four, different four. pockets. Some of the, some of the some of the vocals weren't as neat as we used to hearing them over the years. We and, used to everything just being so tight. And the way that he was rapping, the the, the, um, the actual writing part of it was a different style. Whereas before, it was more plain Jane as far as the flow. He was doing a lot of start and stop. Almost like conversational sound like, his, like yeah. talking yeah, But that's yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. I feel like that flow Was intentional sense of, I wanted to sound More like conversation Than I'm just sitting it, here Trying and, to rap And that could be very, very like well Spoken be true. word type shit It Almost could be very said. well Be Almost true said. But when you put it To the beat And I'm riding in my car It just ain't It ain't slack Yeah, yeah. It, ain't, it ain't Outside of Bam Really for me Off of that album I can't tell Who rapping on beat Off beat on purpose or who just who just can't catch yeah, yeah, yeah. you? Just can't catch you because yeah. it's a style now too. These niggas be sounding like they rapping. They laid the vocals with the headphones on the floor. <laughs> word, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah word. I wouldn't be shocked. Yo, feel me? I'm about to go with the headphones on the floor. <laughs> Yo, I left the vocals in there. Just go ahead and pick a beat. I ain't write nothing down. I ain't write nothing down. I ain't write nothing down. Just press play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you hit like they. I've seen it. They do two lines. Stop. Yo, speaking of Dylan, back, the and then the other two lines yeah. just talking over them, over, they punching yeah, in. Yeah. That, like it's, I'm listening to that shit, and I'm like, yo, I would hate to lay a verse today. I would hate that. That shit is crazy today. Yo, you, you know. ever hear the story? Speaking of Dilla, the Slum Village, he made them just record that whole album to a click track, and then made the beats later. That's hilarious. I've never heard that. It was in the uh, Dan Charnes book that he wrote. I think it's where it. Which album? Yo, what's a click track? The, the uh, volume two. The metronome. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, and just he just metronome. went beats around Correct. vocals. Yeah. That's crazy. What year? 99, maybe? 2000? So you're saying pre-Pro Tools? It might have been... Pre- mm, it might have been. It was probably All we Pro had Tools. was the Pro Tools lab back then. Yeah, yeah, the little mm-hmm. bullshit four-track shit. So yeah. that, makes him, that makes him a super genius. Yeah, that's some other shit. You know how, how do you do that without you know Pro Tools? ill you gotta be to do yeah. that? Yeah. No, nigga, we sitting here thinking y'all talking calculus. <laughs> <laughs> yo, look, pre- I'm Pro watching, Tools, I'm yo, like I'm watching the, tennis. Yeah, with the click track. What the fuck is you know what like? You know what it's like? You know, like, like a metronome. Yo, that's yeah. what you just Recording said. Recording yeah. with just someone doing a clap. Go away. Just a click, click going through. It's like getting it's different mor- tempos, too. It's like getting the mortgage before seeing the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Man, now, you, now you talking, right? <laughs> now you get it. Fucking metronome. Any plans on uh, any plans on stopping by uh, Flex or the LA nigga, LA leakers, or and, and getting in your bag again? Or do you feel like I just bodied them shits too much? I'm one of the best on earth. Mm. All of the best rappers have said it publicly, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go raise my children. <laughs> <laughs> I may, I may. I'm considering it. You still writing? Yeah. Yeah. Is he still? I'm about to say, can you stop writing? No, but he said, like, yo, he don't really be necessarily having the inspiration, so I, I don't know how much he's writing as opposed to producing and doing all that. It's, it's not that I'm not inspired. Like, I'm inspired to be creative all the time. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. The, the raps that I come up with don't f- fulfill me. Mm-hmm. Like, I can play them for you. You'd be like, that's crazy. Put it out. Be like, mm. it wasn't. Yeah. It's not it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's, the, what's the longest period of time you went without writing? Without writing? Without writing, or, yeah, recording or anything. Months. Months. It's been months. Like, I, I don't. I could stop writing. I don't have to. Even up here? Yeah. Like just just I think it'll bar. Mm. Stop? Oh. I could stop for sure. Okay. Mm. I, don't need, I don't need to do that, but I do need to be creative. Yeah, that's why I, I asked him before. I said, yo, I don't understand how, if, like, if you're a poet, you're a poet, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Y'all had that when y'all was teenagers. So I don't understand how you don't have a book of rhymes in your house this big. But he explained it like, yo, podcasting took that creativity place for me because mm-hmm. I could come in here and voice whatever I got to voice or let my emotions out in here mm-hmm. as, yeah. but, you know what I'm saying so me, it's that made, no it made sense it's no that made sense and he's still finding a creative way. way to do it so and it, it makes me it makes me it makes me question how much of a poet <laughs> that I actually am <laughs> I don't know how much of a poet I actually am because I don't I don't miss the poetry side of it you know what I mean like it, there's a void there when I'm not creating at all, mm-hmm. but that could be in any form. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you, you could have just mean? pivoted to a different thing, to create it. To yeah, so if, I, if I was like locked up or something, yeah, I probably would need to crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? Unless like, somebody yeah. gonna come beatbox with me. You know? Yeah, <laughs> big beats on the, on the bricks. Yeah, yeah, but but just being, you know, in in the studio, left to my own devices. 
Who knows how to come out? Gotcha. May make a beat. May do some. I may freestyle some shit. I may fucking pull a beat up. I may just listen to old songs. I listen mm-hmm. to. I listen to. Uh, Glass House Duck the other week. Oh, uh, you still out. listen to it? Uh, it's been a little while, but yeah, it's better than I. It's better than I Much remember better. it being. Much better. It's a great. It's a it's better I, than I thought. They got, I, I, that's one. That's an album I constantly. They gonna run. kill y'all for bringing that album up. Yeah. So. They gonna be so mad. They, they got a screenshot now. People are mad. To they it. never got that. Album. I've been killed for much less. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> they killed me all the no, time. No. Anyway, I'm just saying. I just wanted to play this while you was up here talking all this mature. I've grown up shit. <laughs> just the beginning of this. <laughs> when did I say that? You just sound mature, so I just want to <laughs> remind you. I just want to remind you. Don't forget where you quick. come from. Only him. <laughs> Only him. Only him is gonna start the that, record. That's and my wife's favorite shoot, song. Shoot song. everybody. T- t- tell them the name of the song. Yeah, okay. Gun, uh, <laughs> gun harmonizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my wife's favorite song of mine. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you call her and tell her to grow up? Um, what else do we need to know from Royce? Lord knows we probably won't see him soon. Every time I turn, oh, I know what I need to ask you. Give me your picks on uh, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, and Ryan Garcia, Dave, uh, Devin Haney. And what did you think about the leaked sparring footage with Dev- Devin Haney? Definitely, definitely Devin Haney over Ryan Garcia. I don't think Ryan Garcia is in a mental state, in the proper mental state to even fight. To even fight, right? Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson, I don't really understand what the fuck. What, what's going on over there, yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to say the wrong thing because. Still Mike. I know I can't take him, <laughs> but the man is like 60 years old. I'm concerned about him getting punched in the head, you know, and I understand that when you when you give your whole life to the art, something to a skill set, you feel like a fish out of water when you can't do it on a certain level anymore. Mm-hmm. When it's out, when it's out of the limelight. Mm hmm. I talk to like some of my NBA guys, former NBA guys, about this type of shit. It's like, it's real. It's like a depression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Mike is going through, but you have to be going through something to even consider doing something like this at that age. That Netflix bag is. Well, it's just big. a big bag. It's that Netflix bag is probably mm-hmm. big. For yeah, Mike. I mean, I get the money part of it, but and the time you're gonna give me 10, 15 the million glory, 20 nigga. million maybe just for this quick bullshit that we can choreograph I think it's the glory it's like when the battle rappers used to approach me toward the end and was like yo can we just battle like let's let's write it plan, plan it, it out together. like a play yeah. and just do WWE it WWE this you can't you can't do, do that with boxing though not real boxing who said it got to be I real boxing? I don't think this is real boxing. That's the thing. Why is it? This ain't like a sanction. Is this? I think all of them fights? shits with it's exhibition. Not sanctioned, it's not sanctioned in Vegas. It's an exhibition. All of them that, shits that's labeled exhibition mm-hmm. for me are scripted fights. That's how. No. I, I don't think so. Mm-mm. That's how I feel. I don't think so. That's how it feels. You talking about like the Jake Paul fights? Yeah. 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 Tyron Woodley and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, they just feel like this y'all is. Didn't, y'all didn't think the Tyron Woodley um, knockout was real? No, I, one, no. I 100% think that was real. I think that shit was. Did you see his foot twitching? Do you see mm-hmm. these niggas' bodies get contoured? Like, that's not fake shit. Yeah, I think you took the fake hit wrong. <laughs> it's not nah, a, I don't think you not, play around with not a hit fake like hit. that. Not that overhand, right? I don't yeah. think so. Don't that think man so. can punch. Oh, no, no. I'm clear. Yeah. I'm clear. I, wanted to, I wanted to ask you that. How do you feel about him just from what you see as a fight? Do you, like, do you think I he think he's good. Real? He's good on the level that he does it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, don't, and I, don't, that's, I think I he's great on that level. Yeah. On that level, I think he's great. Somebody who only been training six years... He's actually great mm-hmm. at what he does. Mm-hmm. For the, for, and I, I like the fact that he, he, so far he hasn't disrespected boxing, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's been very respectful about the craft and not to overstep. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing I respect about Jake, Jake Paul. He always show up in shape, mm-hmm. and you've seen take his, everything real serious, and he wants to win. And you've seen his growth. He wasn't, fight, he wasn't boxing like that before. Over he's his fight, he's getting better and better. Getting better and I like better he does better. the theatrics, but I do respect that after the fight is over, he is respectful. He's a gentleman. He's one hundred percent still embraced every opponent and all that. So I'll, I mean, yeah, this fight, this fight is just this is different because it's Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is a national treasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if he hurts him, me personally, I'm gonna be mad. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be mad too. True. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm even, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, it's gonna be racial to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yo, Mike Tyson is a black icon. Who this white boy punching on Mike? Who this white boy punching Mike in the face all hard? That's Fuck gonna be like when I had to watch fucking uh, Fury and Wilder. Oh man, that was racial for me. Nah, my man Which came one? out the Black Panther one. Mm, mm, yeah. When he came out in the Black Panther suit, and it, well, that one was bad for black people. That was a bad. <laughs> that was a bad black people day. Nah, this is gonna be like Ivan Drago versus Apollo for me. See, I don't think so, yo. What's your take on it? I still, I'm watching Mike. Hmm? I'm watching Mike. And, and, and he still got how many months? Four? What, when what? the fight? Four yeah. fighters in yeah, July. July. But right now, watching him, he looked fast as shit. What Grant, have you been, have Grant, you been watching? He be working out with the niggas that don't punch back. So what, hitting pads? Yeah, hitting pads. But he still looked nah, fast. When I did an interview with him, he was fucking around on Bruh, the on He the still looked fast. And shit. I was like, oh, he could take me easy. Easy, he could take me. He looked fast. Yeah. All that but is, is muscle memory. It's different. Yeah. It's different. I yeah. said he, he's it's punching muscle. the pads that don't punch back. They ain't leaning on you. They not, you know what I'm saying? So I get mm -hmm. it, but he just looked fast as shit to Do me. Do y'all take into consideration some of his previous fights before him retiring? Mike's? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to. You have to. What about the interview he did after the Kevin McBride fight? And he said it. I'm, I'm, this is not in me yet. anymore. See, I think that... See, I think all that play. I mean, look so, at the joint with Roy the, Jones. Netflix. No, that's what the, I was... The exhibition, exhibition yeah, with Roy Jones. He looked good, but all Roy did was just... Ran. Move away and yeah. throw his little jab, and he had a little hard time. So. Exhibition fight. We not about to try to kill each other. We got a product to sell. I think Let's this is the same thing. go in here and give them a show. I think this is the same thing. I'm going to say... Not he, don't have, no, he don't have no middle. Yeah, no I don't think he ground. had that either. Mm -hmm. I don't think he had that. I think he it's killer, killer, man. I think it's killer be killed for him. And I think this. I think that... To what you were saying, a lot of athletes, yo, their glory day, their heyday is when they are on top mm -hmm. in whatever respective field they are. I heard um, Chris Canty was one time, we know Chris Canty, mm -hmm. and he was like, dog, he was telling them that this radio show might have saved my life because when I retired from the NFL, I was so depressed and mm -hmm. I was so fucked up that I ain't have nothing to do. And this right here, I transitioned into it. You know what I'm saying? And so it, it was a blessing for him. But I think Mike Tyson, whether it's Michael Jordan, whoever, mm -hmm. dog, your glory day was that. And I think they'll do anything to relive that. Mm, I don't think so. No? Not in Mike's case. I, just, I think that he's so ridiculously evolved from his former self and he went through so much to get to this point and he's got so much I mean like he was on Broadway you know what I mean like he is he's kind of really evolved so this to me is just the bag mm -hmm. that's it it's not anything yeah. else it could be when he finished that or it could be hunting for the next thrill go home and get with that ayahuasca man he don't give a fuck about that no part <laughs> you, you don't think it's risky at his age yeah I think that I think that there's some level of risk but he's also He's also Mike. His instincts are all. I think they're always going to be what they are. You know, just 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 in terms of like you know his sense of like you know self preservation. You know, and, you you know, know. instinct. Of course, yeah. instinctively is to kill. I'm just hate. Y'all honestly I'm don't think Jake Paul is going in there to, for that. I don't. Like we like he sat on the couch with his dad, and you can see the admiration that they have for Mike. They love him. He not going in there with the intentions of I'm going to show the world that I can knock out a 57 year old Mike Tyson. I hope not. I think he really is just. We got I'm gonna go get this bag. Who else can I go get this big, big bag with? And on top of that, the respect of the boxing world for me to just be in the ring with him, even if he is 57 years if old. If he harm a hair on Mike Tyson's chin, head, chin, chin. Yeah. It's black it's America. Like yeah. yeah, it's black on like popcorn. And he know that. I agree. Yeah, that's I that. think this is gonna be a. I'm gonna be picketing match. outside your hotel Not many room. Highlights and a that's glorified sparring match. <laughs> Fuck they talking Honestly, about. What's that on that? What? I'm going to be at that fight with Dr. Umar, nigga. Think <laughs> <laughs> you going to be watching that? Yo, that uh, not uh, hurt Mike Tyson. Word. Yeah, I've been, I've been seeing I've been seeing you in the locker rooms and the backstage. You've been walking niggas out. I see what's going on. I've been home. I've been polying, man. I've been home. Politicking. I, I turn the TV on. I look at Rory's after I pay my little 59 You ain't see me talking to nobody. <laughs> no, that ain't you. Yo, I, I heard the boxers go on podcasts and say, this happened because of Royce. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that. I've heard that. So mm -hmm. don't play with me, nigga. I look for the love. He's at a Lions game too, right? Saw that. Oh couple, wait, couple yeah, nah, he yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I was there. Yo, I'm so glad you reminded hey, yo, uh -huh. me. Hey, yo, fuck off. Yeah, Thanks, Parks. <laughs> yo, fuck, fuck the sports. You got the end on them houses, huh? <laughs> yo, you got the end on them houses in Detroit. That's what we talk about, nigga. Yeah, we can figure something. Yeah, out. Gentrifying, right? Yeah. 
I'm black. <laughs> he black. Black people can gentrify. Oh no. But let's just do let's just do a saying. trip. Do you charter a jet? Come to Detroit and then we go to Portugal. I ain't we'll rap. We'll just not I don't rap. kill two birds with one stone. I don't rap. You got doors in I know, that's why you got Africa. money. <laughs> we, we can fly commercial. <laughs> hey, man talking to you, though. Like said charter a jet. Yo, it was the, crazy. the rapper's yeah, yeah, having yeah, yeah. a lot of money. Joe, that shit is. Nah, man. Joe, Joe tried to That shit over. Don't bite me. No, we don't let. Joe talking to you, son. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to You don't have to answer me. The Redditors will figure it out. Hey, Reddit. <laughs> you, just, you'd be I'm, right on there too. I'll be Such everywhere. Bird, I'll be, I'm everywhere. Hmm? That's water? No, it's called Portuguese water. <laughs> <laughs> Poland Portuguese spring. coffee. That's some Poland summer. Portuguese shit. spring. <laughs> Why your coffee look like Hennessy, man? I don't drink. I... Oh, you don't drink? You call me Ock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this thing is crazy, man. <laughs> I don't drink. So I was asking, you got doors in Portugal before Africa? No. <laughs> He's How you stumpy, feel? y'all. How you feel? He's stumpy. Lies on podcast. Get your shit off. Is it an empty, <laughs> is it an empty piece of land? <laughs> or is it a house? Nah, it was something there. And you tore it down? Knocked it down. Oh, you got man money to do that. You building something from no, the ground up? When you knock some shit down, that means something going up. Yeah. Boss. Mm. Try to get you. It's up there. It's up there. Try to get you there. You know what I mean? Mm. Puh. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. I met a broker I like a lot, but I'll tell you later. What she look like? That's not why I like her. I know. Y'all ever fought before? Me and Joe. Me and Ish. You know who I'm talking no, about. No, nah. Nah? Nah, he don't tell me who, who he fought. He said no, four. No, we fight. fought. fought each other. I, that's where the fight gonna come from. <laughs> <laughs> he come to me and say, yo, I got this secret. It's been, it's been eating me up inside. <laughs> Don't, don't tell me no secrets. I don't, I don't do what, I don't do what you do. Thank man. you. Yo, yo, oh. yeah. I don't do what you do. Yo, you're the only friend. Private Patreon. I turn, ice leaving too. I turn it down. I got this nigga. I turn it down. Hey, as soon as you leave, I got this nigga. I got him. I don't, I don't need bro. ice, nigga. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Nah, man. I, yes, you do. My footwork, all right. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but no, <laughs> man, my footwork. <laughs> me and Ish never fought. Ish has been around for plenty of my almost fights and almost. Nigga, why you did that? Mm. So he's been there. He's been there. So y'all never frustrated each other to the point of at least no. grabbing each other? I think, no. that's, I, think, I think that's why we so close. Because he probably the only person I even know that we gonna yell like that and forget it. Mm. We not gonna address yeah, it's a little, it's you, a made Joe, you made Joe yell? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know Joe go down with it. When you all excited, but, but I Royce. don't know what you're talking. Oh about. no, but Royce. No, no, no. And that just yeah. makes I don't you, know what you're talking. about. You got to be excited first, though. No, and it make yeah. you yell more. Yeah. If you, if he you, did it to me a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he yelled with me, but I know. I'd be like, man, cause you with me. And no, he do too. That's Royce, annoying. Royce, you're not listening. No, to he what articulates I'm... every syllable in the word. You be wanting to fuck, but the ability. Try to make you feel like you dumb. Like, Yo. <laughs> no, 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 no. You be feeling <laughs> like you dumb. Hey, <laughs> nigga, I know what I was talking about. For someone. Yeah, don't you dare Start get getting smart right now. Melissa words. Anytime me and Royce ever got into it about anything, he was right. You said that. Mm. A bunch you of have people. said that before. Yeah. He's anytime that. we've gotten to anything, I don't even remember it all. It don't even matter. But he was right. And so, dot, dot, dot. You were just that, being that, a joke. Well, yeah, I had to listen. <laughs> Just had to go against the grain, be grow, antagonistic. But, but he the only one who will admit when he was wrong. Kino wait, don't. Wait, hold on. Hey, yo, bro, Time fam. Out. It must Kino be, be like, oh, nah, right. you know what? Oh, right. It's something in that right. Detroit yeah. water a that you A real you friend. Get. Look. That's how a friend talks. Look, look, look. Not you two bitches. Because you're my, <laughs> you my other friend. What, what other friends I'm going to talk about? Yeah, yeah. Yo. Huh? Get shades off, nigga. Shut up. Hey, yo, dog. It's you something in some Detroit accountability water. Because if this nigga takes accountability with you, it's a super. I'm gonna learn how to rap. No, he be right. That's what it and be, you yo. Be I'm gonna learn how to shit. rap, yo. You I'm be a, wrong about I shit. Oh, Only thing you was right about was Johanna, or whatever her name was. <laughs> <laughs> you better shut up, nigga. I'll get up here and just get to talking. <laughs> you was right about that. That was a mistake. I'm right. I re- shut up, nigga. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, listen. Do y'all have any, do y'all have any last questions oh, for, for Royce? I'm just so happy to, to, to see him. I'm Word. glad he stopped by. Word. I'm glad he's in Thank great. You, I'm glad you're in great health. Like, I'm just, I'm, I felt good. I felt Thank good you, leaving brother. that dinner yesterday. Thank I you, did. Man. I need. I, I be needing that. Me too. I do. Me too. Yo, that, that's your artist. No, it's my nephew. Uh, that's my, my man nephew's right there. name is Nassan. What'd you think about the video we showed you last night? Absolutely loved it. 
Absolutely love it. I told him I might call Kaiser for him. I might call Kaiser for him. I might put it in the You call. speak to him often? Yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah. All yeah. the time. He signed the Atlantic uh, through a JV called Assemble. And um, he's real cool with my son. Mm-hmm. But he's also the son of the late great Proof. Oh, wow. Uh, if you notice, they got the same face. <laughs> yeah, look. He do look like Proof, oh, yo. Yeah, so. Yeah. He got that so artsy. That so nah, nigga. That's and he, and he cocky. I said, yo, you tall, yo. You who? Yeah, I kick your ass. I said, damn. Uh, uh, no, the young niggas said, get yo, I said, yo, damn, dog. I yo. like it, though. Yo, I was, I'm sad. I love old, that shit, nigga. though. No, he said, I you love know, it. Can't, can't even think he said, I kick your ass. He said, yo, I know who you are. They know they got the advantage. Yeah. yeah. From you up or something. Yeah. Then he showed, he showed, they showed me a video before before they showed him me laptop, yo. He wrote, produced, edited, shot, thought of, mm-hmm. treatment, yada, yada, yada. He did like, I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm tired from even the yeah, talent yeah. that you're telling me about. He's a, he's a visionary. It's yeah. like, it's like it, and it's, it's, it's a pleasure to watch. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Because we came into the game hanging our hat on one Thank facet you. of mm-hmm. our That's true. creativity. Mm-hmm. It took me a long time just to even realize that I like to do other things. Do more than that. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know? It's he work. came he came right in like, yo, I know exactly how I want it to look. And he can actually actualize the vision that he has. And he which can rap. is, you know, that's that's, mm-hmm. that's and, he, and he can rap. That's incredible. And he's a, you know, he's a high level lyricist without even knowing it. Cause he always like, I don't care about that rapping shit, but he be yeah. busting. Thank yeah. God, because niggas wasn't gonna say proof son is ass. <laughs> that that, that would have been. He's not, he not allowed to be ass. That's yeah, the crazy nah, shit. Nah, that's my, look at my man right here. Take the mic. Go ahead. <laughs> that nigga's sick. I just wanna six. say, I'm, I'm an artist second. I'm, first of all, I'm the co founder and CEO of the uh, Joe Budden number one fan, uh, Mood Music Fan Club. <laughs> you ain't wearing the shirt. I'm also the, uh, what happened to the shirt? Man, I couldn't print it, bro. I was finna get a shirt of you. Was just, nah, yeah, the, pro- the Prada, ja- me the me Prada jacket like, looked better than the shirt. <laughs> the Prada me. jacket looked better than the shirt. He been trolling me since last night. And 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 he said that what a lot of the young niggas have said since the cost and that Aiden brought shit. It was like, I'll yeah. buy you. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. Nah, y'all got nah, nah. Get First up. fight. Why you doing it? Why you doing it? Why you doing it? <laughs> That's what they It's just It's nah. what they say now But he was like And you gotta listen to King He's like yo man Why why you just grumpy nigga <laughs> Why you why you such a fucking Grump smile nigga What's up I'm like I'm a nice guy Be having to tell these kids that How many of the youngers Have asked you Similar questions Plenty A bunch of Plenty Why, why do you think They think that Because He's grumpy <laughs> Is he mm-hmm. I'm not Yo I'm y- not Your demeanor what? is such though I'm not, but my demeanor on this podcast, right? I think that the shit that we talk about, I'm not really the young niggas demo. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, I mean, some of them, but not as a whole. So when I say something that penetrates their world, Mm -hmm. it is normally, it's normally painted as or comes off as, oh, this old nigga is saying some grumpy, hating shit, hating on the youth. The the youth has responded plenty of times with, shut the fuck up, old nigga, you hating. Mm -hmm. You don't Mm -hmm. don't show the Mm -hmm. love like the other OGs, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I do. It's just a different love. Mm -hmm. So I I understand. My my kid has told me that about his friends in the street when the young kids see me, yo, Joe, get off that bullshit, nigga. Like, (laughs) like they, they, they do it. And I understand it. But I'll kick it with him. I'll talk to him. I try to be the bridge in real life. Mm-hmm. Maybe not in the pod, but in real life, I kick it with him. When them mm-hmm. niggas stand outside of bird off handing out demos and shit, hey, give me one, nigga. <laughs> this is my man right here. This is my Marcus. His name ain't Marcus, by the way. But yeah, this is my man. I'm a troll. I hate when kids say I'm a troll. <laughs> oh, Why are you looking at me? <laughs> they call you a troll. No, he said that. Oh, he said he a troll, yeah. Yeah, last night. You just start trolling me before you got there. And I love when the young kids, because they got to take their troll moment off to tell you they're a troll. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. a troll. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, whatever you want to do, big dog. I'm old. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you out here today? Yep, I'm leaving. As soon as we leave here, I'm going to the airport. Flying commercial. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Tita Brown right there. I, don't, I mean, I know where it's at. Yeah, I, know, I bet uh-huh. you do. We know you know. Don't give me no directions. You, 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 we sitting there in the lobby yeah. doing nothing. With <laughs> <laughs> <But> a cigar. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Where's him in the Are you guys? On? Oh, no, you know where Tita Brown. Oh, that was don't. a big beef for Slaughterhouse for one month or two. Oh shit! <laughs> shit. Oh, when we went out on the road. <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. That's a- Yo, you flew in the Newark or New York? Oh, wait, it was separate flights. Newark, right? Newark. Right? Newark. Mm-hmm. 
Hold on. Group is <laughs> over at that point. I went out. Wait, what? But what? The funny shit, that yeah. wasn't the end. I, somehow, still, I was the end of the group. That nigga was private chatting. Around. Wait, 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 wait. Nah. That nigga put out platinum albums, came over here. Put your lighters in the sky. <laughs> put your, everybody put your lighters up. This me and Eminem and these he, niggas going to just dance real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Those Royce and Slaughterhouses. Oh, yeah. that's yes. crazy oh, but this shit. Is my man. But I was so happy for him. So like when I used to ask the BME question, like as a hip hop fan, I'm excited. About that, I was mm-hmm. so proud of how my nigga performed and that shit. Fuck is you niggas talking about? Hell yeah! <laughs> I can't speak for everybody's happiness, but I was happy. I was happy. I love that album to this day. Mm. Oh Thank man. You, man! Thank you. Yeah. You remember that scene in Five Heartbeats when Eddie Kane was late to the show because he was at the car game. Mm-hmm. And came sliding out on stage right before his verse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> That's Joe. Oh. Except he'd come out walking slow with a cigarette, smoking a little. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay's down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I, I knew you was a superstar back then, man. Royce, I love you, man. Love you too, my brother. I absolutely, absolutely love you. And I love your crew, nigga. What's up? You too. I love you too, man. Hey, Kino. Here we go. You love Kino? Nah, I fuck with Kino. <laughs> if I didn't love Kino, I wouldn't have went in that bathroom in Canada and pulled him out of there when he was trapped with the girl in the girl's bathroom. What girl? And some girl, we didn't know her. She was just a girl. And I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Joe ain't supposed to remember I left that either. You word. Okay. Not yeah, to I had to go in and get my man. <laughs> you you that that on man, whiskey, no, I'm tired of this shit. I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm Pyru. gonna go Put that in on Pyru, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> then I left you. I ain't never left none of my bros. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. I do. Put that on Pyru. I really want to know about this. You were there. Joe came back. I'm serious. Damn. Okay, I wasn't there. No, no, no. But I didn't leave you. I think you was on the bus. You left. You left. And went to the bus. Left them. Issue, you're not making this. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Canadian Cindy? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fucked up when you go in to get somebody, and when you find them, you think about staying. <laughs> think of sitting, man. It was all by that girl's bathroom. I was like, shit, nigga, I can get ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you shitting me? Well, Every time I talk about slaughterhouse, you said y'all was in Canada. We were some I don't know It might not have been Kino Every time y'all talk it about Slaughterhouse is Kino yeah, Y'all hear a good story about Kino mm-hmm. Every time Every y'all time. talk about Y'all be it's on the road Kino was a star the show The wild boy Kino was a star Slaughterhouse is not Slaughterhouse Without Kino and all of management yeah. As big a part as we played They played There's a Slaughterhouse that. of management <laughs> <laughs> For sure Facts. Especially in the webisodes Yeah It wouldn't be no webisodes Without Kino you know? Oh man No it's true I just wish you the grew his beard I don't like chicken Dumbass face. Don't puberty face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that stupid <laughs> shit he was doing. Chicken butt face. <laughs> What's up? The Coney's still thriving out there? It was never thriving, Joe. Yeah, don't do that. Coney Island? Chili fries? The Coney's. The only people who eat that is Keno and you when you come in town. I went to the, the hot Sign you, Sign, you eat Coney Island? No, sir. No, sir. And he's 25, 25 years old. What is that, though? Hmm? He's 25. What is that? Coney Island? A Detroit staple. The hot dog shit? Hot dog shit. Hot dog shit. Oh, yeah, hot dogs. For a Detroit time. staple? It's not a Detroit. You tell us that to people from Detroit. <laughs> Somebody from Detroit made sure I went to the Coney spot. Coney Island Detroit staple. Look, they about to argue now. Is that like... No, is that like... Yo, Corey is that from like, Jersey and just told a Detroit nigga. Yeah, yeah. That ain't no shit. <laughs> yo, is that like when you go to Philly and somebody say you got to go to Geno's or... Yes. Maybe, yes. Maybe the niggas yes. from Philly yes. will tell you, don't you take your ass there because yes. it's trying. So it, it, it is a staple, okay, but you still got to go. It, it is a staple, staple still but it's go. not a staple not in, a in the sense of those who it's so delicious. Yeah, I got it. It just been there. Oh. I also took a papaya. It's like a papaya king. Great papaya. Yeah, papaya. Papaya king, exactly. Got it. Like that. All right, fuck y'all. <laughs> That's not a staple. Dude. Listen, come on, make some noise for Royce, man. Yeah, of course. Make some Thank noise you. for Royce for five nine. I can't wait to hear Prime. Word. I'm waiting on it. I'm harassing. I'm gonna the leave here. I'm gonna go. <laughs> we gonna go make make Prime. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy, y'all. Good day today, y'all. Great day. Good day. We had a lot of people stop by. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of people leave, do what the fuck they wanted to do on the last day. Um, 
This was a good time today, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Listen, man, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows that's exactly where we need to be. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And lastly... The baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and while you grit in your teeth, hey, <laughs> the stagnant women want to travel, the closed-minded women want you to teach them things, grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. Everybody have a good weekend, man. Enjoy Saturday night. Remember, daylight savings is Sunday, whenever the fuck it is. Damn. You lose an hour. You lose an hour. It's mm-hmm. over. Y'all hold it down out there. Everybody have a real good weekend. <laughs> Mel, are you going to miss us like we're going to miss you? I'm going to miss you so I'm much. I'm sad. I'm sad. Come so on. So much. Come on, Paul. Let me get a picture. Let me get a picture of me and Mel's hearts to each other. No, a picture, nigga. We don't want your white-ass heart. <laughs> Did you get it? Mel, Yo. be safe out there. I will. Represent yourself and us. And us. Hold yes. us down. Don't forget about I us. Got you Don't guys. forget about us. We're I will. That's all we ask. And when, no, when, I'm going to be harassing you guys. I'm going to FaceTime. Hmm? Where are you filming at? A city called Hamilton. It's like an hour outside of Toronto. <laughs> and all I need you to do is post it in your Insta story. What's your socials? What's your name? <laughs> 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 JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? No Joe Biden.